Now we got Downtown by Macklemore versus The Grinch <laughs> by Lanze. <laughs> what a heater of a matchup. <laughs> What's up? You're watching Hive Mind, the most fabulous show on the internet. My name is Ryze Evdor, my fashion forward co-host, Graydon. Fashion to the front. And today we're once again looking for the worst to the worst. This is the Worst, worst Songs Bracket 3. Three. 64 really bad songs, only one can win, and we brought a very special guest for this one. Somebody who knows a lot about bad music, but only makes good music himself. Oh, well that's nice and not true, but thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> we're in for a freaking doozy, guys. I'll yeah. tell you that much. Calm down, brother. Quadeca. Thank you. I'm very excited. I've been listening to these songs all week. Yeah. It's been the worst week of my entire life. Yeah. And so I'm ready. I have a lot I want to get off my chest. I think this is going to be a fun one. All right, before we get into it, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you want to see more. HiMindTV.com for our merch. We also have a drop over on Cope's website. It's linked in the description along with our Patreon and our Cameo if you'd like to support us. Or click the join button here on YouTube and become a member. He's a member. I'm not. We also have short form content over on TikTok and Instagram Reels. Follow us over there. And Quadeca has new music releasing soon. Very soon. Get ready. As always, first round, we're going to hear a little clip of the songs, and then after that, we just play it out. First matchup, we've got Best Day of My Life by American Authors versus You're Beautiful by James Blunt. This is going to be so hard. <laughs> you know, that clip is a really good representation of that song because it ends right about when you can skip the ad. <laughs> yeah. It also sounds so much like that Imagine Dragons song, It's Time. Never heard of it. Or can you sing it? I don't ever want to let you down. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's yeah. like the same guitar line. That's exactly like that. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's crazy. But, yeah. Two bad songs sounded alike. Who would have thought? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It just made me happy, though. You know, yeah. it made me want to go to the mall and smile. It makes know? me want to commit arson. Yeah. Where? Burn. Probably a church or an orphanage or something. Yeah. If those still exist. Yeah. My face said I was. Fucking high. I love the clean version of this too, where it just goes flying high. <laughs> That's better. The fuck? It's like such like a. Uh, it's awesome. Fucking. Uh. It's like, bro, stop. I love it. Man. I actually like that song. I know it's no. like bad singing and all of that. Like it just kind of like nostalgia tricks me. It's a good song. Yeah. It's a fine song. It's so much better than. I don't know, dude. I think it's worse. It's not. I, yeah. I cannot. I cannot. You know yeah. how many shirts he takes off in the music video? Like six at least. It's like a hundred. He just keeps taking off oh, that's shirts. Kind of, that's sick. Yeah. James Blunt. Then he's naked yeah. at the end, brother. It's All like right. a four and a half minute strip tease. Done's better. It's better. <laughs> Second matchup, we've got Swish Swish by Katy Perry versus NLE Choppa's Slut Me Out. Heaters. Both of them. <laughs> <laughs> Nicki Minaj and Katy Perry. Love that link up. NLE Choppa and Having Sex. No better duo. Swish Swish Bish. That one's sick, dude. When I was listening to this, I was just like, okay, it's going to suck. And then I was like, I just found myself doing this. I was like, yeah. oh. <laughs> oh, the hook is sick. I like it. It was kind of early on the revival of that sound, like the early 2000s kind of club sounds. Yeah. I think it was just like coincided with Katy Perry's very ugly public era. Mm. Like, not ugly like that. She oh, like, no, yeah, she's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. She's a beautiful woman. For some reason, when I hear this song, I can't stop thinking of her dabbing on stage with the Migos. <laughs> yeah. And wasn't she in like a shark costume or something? Yeah. There's something good. going on. She also went to therapy. <laughs> <laughs> and when I heard about that, I was like, uh, uh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> keep those emotions inside. That's right. Yeah. She also had a little bit of bad blood during that time with Taylor Swift. <laughs> Put your ass on my face till I get pink out. Fuck you in the work, I'm dead tight guy. I like both these songs, low key. Slow Me Out is so crazy. And it's so crazy that's his biggest song. Like, I, I saw this video where he's like in an arena and like children, adults, men, women alike screaming that. Like, he's like, vegan nut! Like, the entire arena. <laughs> it's like, oh my God. <laughs> I kind of do appreciate it. But that line is insane. Yeah. Put your ass in my face till I get pink eye. No. That's because poop causes pink eye. Yep. I didn't know that until like embarrassingly recent. Like I never thought of pink eye as embarrassing when I was a kid. But, but as a kid, there's poop everywhere. Right. But, but as I, an yeah. adult, you're like, what? You're a disgusting freak. Like if your girlfriend gets pink eye, people are like, yo, what are y'all yeah. doing? Yeah. You know? And I'm like, no, 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 no. It's nice. Give it a try once. <laughs> Both of these are among the better songs on the bracket, in yeah. my opinion. I think so too. I think Swish Swish is just a little worse due to like the era of corniness. Slut Me Out's like still a little fresh and it might end up being more corny, but like as of right now, I'm like, 
That's kind of that's kind of <laughs> nasty and cool. Yeah, I'll go swish swish for now. Yeah, I don't feel strongly, so let's let's run it. Next, we got "Pocket Full of Sunshine" by Natasha Bedingfield versus "The Laughing Gnome" by David Bowie. Oh my God, I'm ready for this one. Good. See, yeah, you like this song, and what's that about? Well, I don't like it. I wouldn't listen to it in my spare time, but it's ne it never stood out to me as like, this is one of the worst songs. It was just like, this is a cute little pop tune. Yeah, yeah. I kind of like it too. I think it just falls into the overplayed, kind of annoying hook. Like, sure. I got a bucket, got a bucket full of sunshine. Like, I, it can kind of annoy you in a grocery store. And this got sent in a few times from people saying that their their parents watched the worst songs bracket too with them and were like, oh, pocket full of sunshine. That song is annoying. I can uh, see that. It's about cocaine, though. Oh, that makes really? sense. <laughs> That's oh, sick, though. Yeah. She got that bag on her. She had a few drinks with the lads. Next thing you know, voing <laughs> all night long with Natasha. She would burn them lines back, brother. She had a pocket full of that San Jose speed snow. That frenetic French fun powder. Cocaine. <laughs> it's not really how the game is played. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That cat man do creatine. Pocket full of Russian racing rice powder. That Peruvian Powerade. Mm -hmm. Right on, brother. Mm -hmm. Natasha used to be my plug. Let's go. Pop it. it up. No, no need no, to clean. No, you don't I had a problem. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. For a good stretch of her career, she just went by Natasha Ingfield because she was not going to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Is this like a leftover from Labyrinth? Because that's the only way I can justify this, I think. No, this is a man who was doing LSD. This is just like a guy who was doing a ton of LSD, and he was like, oh, this little laughing gnome. And other people on acid were like... <laughs> 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 did he know this was annoying? Like, did he know this was like a tough song to listen to? Yes. Okay. This is one of my favorites to listen to from from the entire bracket. Like, really? Like one of the most hysterical. I was listening on the plane over, and I was just dying, like like unable to breathe. If you haven't listened to the song, you gotta give it the full college try because you can tell by the end of the song, he's just like, "What the fuck have I done?" <laughs> you know? he's just like, it's I like really it. He's like, it's like a maniac. I love it in a way where I want to see it continuing to the next round. You know? Yeah, I think it's much worse than Pocket Full of Sunshine. Way yeah. more annoying. And if Unwritten was on here, I'd get up and leave, by yeah. the way. Unwritten by Natasha Bedingfield, because that could be on the best songs bracket. Mm -hmm. oh. Feel the rain on your skin. Oh, that's a banger. Yeah, I love that song. No one else can feel it for you. Oh, no. next we've got Snake Eyes by Demon Dice versus Money by Azzyland. This is a final matchup. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> No. I don't know where this song came from. I know it's really bad, but I feel like, it, it feels like one of those things where I'm missing something. Yeah, same. Like, I don't get it. It's racist. Oh, is as it? Fuck. Yeah, okay, yeah. The whole song is just like, all these SoundCloud rappers, they think they're from the hood. That's not good. It's like one of those, you know, I have substance. I don't rap about money and hoes. And it's like weird. I think she's like a YouTuber. Brad was giving me the whole fucking like chronicles earlier. Because <laughs> <You know? laughs> I guess he has like a long stand like lore with him and his audience yeah. with Demon Dice, but like I don't want to contribute to a train of hate, but this legitimately may be like the worst artist ever. Yeah, I, I just know it was requested a ton yes. to be in here and I heard it and was like, oh yeah, this is bad. And I feel like I didn't even want to step into the room and say it was bad. No. Nope. Because I just don't even know what's going on. I will give her some credit though, because I think she took it down. So clearly there was a there was a moment where she's like, this, you know, shouldn't oh. be there. I just know it's kind of like gamery nerd core. Yeah. Rap, mm. which I could, you know, it has like its its audience, and I re and I respect that. But like, holy shit, dude! I will say, Demon Dice sounds awesome. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, 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 that's it. Like, like roll awesome. a Demon Dice, you know? Yeah. We're shooting Demon Dice yeah. tonight. I'm yeah. playing a game with Lucifer, and I'm losing. Yeah. <laughs> that's know? me at the craps table. Yeah, demon on the dice. <laughs> <Straight> <laughs> Seven. Everybody loses. <laughs> If this wasn't supposed to be good, it's kind of awesome. What do you mean by that? Like if it was supposed to be a joke, it's pretty funny. Sure. Like to okay. like just sonically funny. Oh. Like to me, I'm like, I can't <laughs> believe it sounds this bad. And that makes me like kind of think it's cool. Yeah. But I think it was supposed to be good. I remember when this came out very clearly. Yeah. Because I, I did this video, it was like 10 worst YouTuber lyrics or like songs or whatever. And this one, it left me speechless. The artist behind this, I think she was like a child's YouTuber. Like 
like all the comments and if you go in they're like wow i remember being eight when she dropped this and she was like only making like children's react content and then she made this song where she's like in lingerie and like a private jet like shooting like it's just like weird as fuck <laughs> as like a thing to exist oh no and it is like a concoction of horror there is some humor to it though and demon dice there's like no joke about it it's just awful yeah as you land i kind of like it it's so bad that it's like a great novelty we can like laugh at it like i'd much rather listen to money because snake eyes is so hard to get through mm. and for that reason it moves on to the second <laughs> round the other crazy thing about snake eyes is like she's rapping so fast but you can't hear her and it actually saves the song because when you think when you <laughs> actually like when i when i can make out the words that she was saying i was like this is not okay yeah you know but like all of it is slurred so it's like it kind of blurs out some of the horrible ideas and all of it is slurs right i wouldn't no. be surprised <laughs> no, i don't know i didn't read the lyrics i literally just listened to it and was like no thanks <laughs> now we got downtown by macklemore versus the grinch <laughs> by lanze <laughs> what a heater of a matchup <laughs> i'm headed downtown cruising through the alley now, this one I have a lot of context for. <laughs> uh, it. Okay, this is Macklemore's first single following him winning the Grammy over Kendrick Lamar. And it features Melly Mel, Cool Mo D, and Grandmaster Kaz, who are like originators of hip hop, like Royalty. 70s and 80s hip hop. And then also Eric Nally, the lead singer of Foxy Sazam, which is a Cincinnati band that was kind of like the underground queen of Cincinnati. And I mean, queen like the band. I couldn't believe Eric Nally was on this song. As somebody who's seen Foxy Sazam a few times. It like didn't make any sense. But this song when it came out was definitely Macklemore being like, let's take it back to the beginning <laughs> of hip hop. I got to show him I really respect this shit. Yeah, yeah he, he shows them that he knows them. <laughs> That's about it. About it. He's like, look who's with me. Yeah. <laughs> Take that, Kendrick. You know, He's like, you see head. those names? Now don't listen to it. You see those names, though? It wasn't that bad when I listened to it. Like, it was bad, but for the first, like, two or three minutes, it's kind of, like, a little endearing. Like, it's a little nice, you know? I didn't hate it as much as I thought that I would based on, you know, the, the sort of lore that I remember when this era happened. Grant made a good point when we were listening to it, though. He said, like, what if this was a Bruno Mars song. And then it's good. And it kind of works. Yeah. That's like what's interesting about it is that Bruno Mars can get away with this sort of thing. But because it's Macklemore and he raps so conversationally yeah. that it's <laughs> like he doesn't yeah. have like a rap voice. Like he's just talking. I walked into the moped store and I'm just kind of like, I guess that's good. But yeah. I don't know. It just comes <laughs> off so odd, you know? It's corny, but I agree. I don't hate it. You like Hamilton, I assume? Love Hamilton. Yeah, okay. Yeah. My top two rap albums. Inside by Bo Burnham. <laughs> <laughs> now this one I have a lot of context for. <laughs> yeah, where the fuck did you find this? Because I was listening to this and I clicked on the guy, 100 monthly listeners. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Where, yeah. Where is this? So this is another one of those like one hit wonders of the SoundCloud rap era. Yeah. There was a week on Twitter where all anybody could talk about was this. Yeah. yeah. And Lanze is a rapper from Cincinnati who had this moment and everybody said that when he was rapping, it sounded like he was having an asthma attack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I believe there's a music video that has a lot of views. Yeah. There's like fire behind him and he looks yeah. crazy. His eyes are all wide and he's just like, <laughs> <laughs> that's really all there is to it. And it did get requested a lot to be in worse songs. I know that he's doing a lot vocally, right? Yeah. But my favorite moment of the song is like about a minute in, there's like a new piano that's just completely off key from like I thought I had like an Instagram ad playing and I went to go close my app and then I re rewind it and that's just in the song like there just there just begins a second instrumental over the other instrumental and then it just cuts out it's like so weird I think it's better there's more visceral energy to the Lanze song where downtown is more embarrassing I agree with that but I still think the Grinch should move on if the metric we're using is like which song would I rather listen to after this bracket I could get through the Macklemore song, the Lanze song. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna stop, turn it off. I'm gonna go with Grinch. I'm gonna go with Grinch. Me too. It's wow. Just... Okay. Next we got World's Smallest Violin by AJR versus Jackie Chan by Tiesto, Jekko, and Post Malone. Finishing this melody, this feels like a necessity, so this could be the 
That is a great example of a song to torture someone with. <laughs> <laughs> If you locked me in a room and played that song three times, I think I'd put my head through the wall. I didn't know you could make the Big Bang Theory theme song worse. Yeah. <laughs> Why does it do that? It's doing the exact same thing as the Big Bang Theory mm -hmm. theme song. Bare Naked Ladies are pioneers. It's hard not to follow them. If I had a million dollars. <laughs> if I had a million dollars. I'd buy you a llama. Haven't you always wanted a monkey? Yeah. <laughs> these song, these lit real lyrics? Yeah. That's uh, Bare yeah. Naked Ladies. Eminem sampled them. <laughs> Idiot. Oh. This AJR song, the worst thing about it is the storyline of the lyrics. Mm. Yeah. It's like so contrived. It's like <laughs> my grandfather like fought in World War II and he was a noble man and I'm a pussy, but I'm still sad. So I deserve to have somebody who can love me. Like that's the storyline. It's like doesn't make, like it becomes like a weird plea for love. He's like, I d I deserve love. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, most <laughs> AJR songs are like that. It's a very strange band that I had never heard before we started doing these brackets. Really, yeah. I had never heard a single song by them. It's crazy that his grandfather fought for the Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry if I got the story a little wrong. You know, I I tried not to listen as best I could. So she found your pain. Why is this song in here? It's fine. I, I think that this song is in here just because like it's such a normal Post Malone melody with just the lyrics are just so not even offensive. Like it is like a little offensive, but just like cringy. But so many of his songs are cringy to me. I just think it's funny how plain it all is. He wasn't even thinking about it when no. he said it. He was doing his taxes while he made this. <laughs> <laughs> it's just boring. So like AJR, I think should move on. Oh, of yeah. course. Next, we've got School Shooters by XXX Tentacion and Lil Wayne versus Kuku Arama Mamba <laughs> by Rod Stewart. Give me back grades, I don't give a F. Get in front of my classmates and kill myself. Bro, that's so real. Oh man, there's so many things I love <laughs> about this song. One of them being that Lil Wayne had no idea who X was when he was alive. <laughs> this is just a posthumous song that they yeah. tacked Lil Wayne onto, and it was not one of the most finished ideas that X no. had. But then like Lil Wayne just raps so on topic about school shootings, it's like uncomfortable. Yeah. Like it's insane. But like, he heard the name of the song, was like, okay, I got it. <laughs> all right, yeah. all right, let's do some Columbine stuff. I'm gonna kill myself in front of the entire class, by the yeah. way. So that's gonna be something. What else? What else can I do that's violent in a school? It's just weird to listen to because it's really like you could feel the posthumous scrapping. It doesn't even feel like a real song. That's it, why it's like a monstrosity to me. Yeah. It's like yeah. it just is one of the songs that truly should not exist. And it's also weird that the Lil Wayne part is like worse than the X part. <laughs> oh yeah, like, by like a lot. Yeah. It like makes the song very <laughs> bad. Yeah, that's what gets it on this list, honestly. For sure. Sex is cool, the sex is nice. Sex will leave you high That always <laughs> makes me think of sex. <laughs> Yeah, bring in the horns, honey. I think there's something really special about the old songs on these lists. Yeah. Because it's just like, Rod Stewart has classics. And what the fuck is this song? But this, this is new. Yeah, this it's is It's just new. an old guy. Oh, this is yeah, a new this song. this is like last four years or something. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. Someone's like, hey, Rod, uh, sex is really selling music today. He's like, don't worry, I got this. <laughs> sex is cool and sex is nice. <laughs> it's like an old man's idea of what sexy music <laughs> is. He's like, bring in the big band. <laughs> I think the X song is like uglier and like the Rod Stewart song is kind of fun. <laughs> I just kind of feel like the X song like isn't a real song. So it makes me want to not move it forward. But know? that's what makes me want to move it forward yeah. is like I said, it just shouldn't exist. It should have never happened. And like the Rod Stewart one, I could have just ignored. I don't know. The X song wins for me for Same. sure. All right. Then I guess my opinion uh, is void. But I maybe I would take in the Rod Stewart, but I, either of them are fine. Next, we got a cover Gucci Gang by Drake Bell. Versus My House by Flo Rida. My bit love do cocaine. I fuck a bit, I forgot a name. <laughs> bit. <laughs> Why is he saying bit? That's just what it, that's what it says on Genius. So uncomfortable. The chord choice, the moodiness of this just didn't need to be. It never needed to happen. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. That's how the hook goes. Yeah. This was at a time where Drake Bell got really obsessed with SoundCloud rap, even went on No Jumper and talked about how much he loved Lil Xan and Lil Pump and listening to all their music. And this is how he paid tribute and uh, threw his hat in the ring. Um, well, that was till they turned 18. Right, he yeah. really liked them when they were young. Yeah. Drake Bell, also a criminal, seems to be an awful person. Yeah. And also, his name's not even Drake. No. His name's Jared. 
What? His name's Jared Bell. And that's his worst defense. I think his worst defense might be this song. Oh, it's geez. so <laughs> uncomfortable to listen to, especially because he's singing a child song, you know? Like, this is like like a little pump. And he's like saying, like, pussy. Like, it's like, ah, oh, like he's close to the mic. Yeah. It's just everything is like wrong about it. It's <laughs> one of the worst experiences to listen to. Welcome to my I mean, I've watched too much NBA not to like this song. Every time it's a home game, they show like home team highlights. Welcome to my mm. house. Steph Curry like <laughs> running in Oracle. It's awesome. It's like a perfect, this is a perfect like NFL game. Here comes the home team. Welcome to my house. Flo Rider knew what he was doing. It's fire. <laughs> it's perfect. It's like a commercial sports song. Shots of the fans on the Jumbotron. Yeah. Like, hey, hey, hey. There's a little, there's a guy with the baby. Yeah. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> it is so fun. It's just so sterile. Yeah, like it's sucks. so like, there's no edge to it. It's right. just like a novelty yeah. song, but it's definitely better than Gucci Gang by Drake Bell. Fuck yeah. yeah, it is. Next we got Supplies by Justin Timberlake versus Rock and Roll All Night by Kiss. Supplies. What was he thinking? What a mistake. <laughs> a huge mistake. For anybody who has not heard this full song, it's produced by Pharrell. It's a newer Justin Timberlake song, and it's like a sexy song all about doomsday prepping. Yeah. The video is so weird. Oh, I know. If you go to the comments on the video, it's a real trip. Literally all the top comments are like, he's telling you all about adrenochrome. It's crazy. Like this song in the music video itself probably like created QAnon. <laughs> <laughs> they do. There is like a, an Illuminati pyramid in the video. Yeah, it's very like direct. It's like he had like listened to Joe Rogan for two years and yeah. then just made this song. Like he says like, I'll be a generator, turn me on when you need electricity. <laughs> he says, we'll be living in the walking dead. I hate when he says, okay. It's like the, the least cool ad lib ever. He's like, okay. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the, like you'd be like, okay. Like that'd be kind of cool. But he literally goes, okay. It's like, what the fuck is bro? cooking. <laughs> this song is like <laughs> embarrassing. I can't believe I had never heard it. It's a classic example too of someone who was once so cool, so smooth, doing something the polar opposite. It makes it more painful. I'll say another thing about the music video. There's a whole unnecessary part where he's just like making out with a girl. And I was thinking like, he's got a wife. Yeah. And the kids. And this is so unnecessary. Like, why did they put this in the video? No part of the plot of the video needed this at all. And he is just like all over a woman, just making out with her. And I was like, huh, I wonder what Jessica Beale thinks. Yeah, his wife was like, you know, do, do you really need to do that? Baby, it's my art. This is the truth. People need to hear this. Love it. I don't, if this moves on, I'm moving out. I do not love it. It's just like a rock song about partying. Exactly. By Kiss. Yeah, that's what Kiss was there for. When I was a kid and I saw Kiss, not like I didn't go to like one of their live shows. I mean, like I saw what they looked like. I really expected the music to be like darker and heavier. Right, but that's like when you hear like OG metal. Oh yeah, that's what I mean. Like Slayer and shit and Metallica. Oh, I'm saying like Black Sabbath, Judas Priest. It's like not as hard as you think it should be. Right. Mm. It's like, the devil! <laughs> it's like arena rock still in there, you know, but with a metal aesthetic. Yeah, the metal aesthetics just didn't hold up to the music back then. No. But like Kiss, I really expected to be a heavy band. Also, this was like heavy and satanic for the time. Oh, I know. Parents were like, oh no, not partying all night. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> well, it's easily supplies though. Easily supplies. Gene Simmons' tongue is longer than my dick. Isn't that crazy? Now we got Panic of the Disco's Star Spangled Banger versus Pompeii by Bastille. Oh, one of the best songs of all time. It was Banger in the title? Yeah. I didn't even notice that. Star Spangled Banger. Wow. What the fuck? <laughs> Why is this song, The Boys Are Back in Town? I hate it Whoa, for that reason. that's a good, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And the hook sounds like We Are Young by Fun. Yeah. Like the hook, you would never, if you just heard that clip and you've not heard this song, you could never imagine what the hook sounds like. It's atrocious. It is completely separate from the verses. Like the verses are a different song than the hook. And I love Thin Lizzy, so it pisses me off right to my bones. I like Lizzy no matter what size she is. I don't. She's gotta be thin, Canadian, with a surprisingly black lead singer. <laughs> Surprisingly. <laughs> yeah, it's surprising. Uh. It is. <laughs> Don't act like it's not. It's like Bobby Caldwell. It's surprising that he's white. There's just things out there that are like that, you know? <laughs> <laughs> 
You're like, huh, the guy from Thin Lizzy's black. Hmm, that's kind of your reaction. I'm not like, whoa! <laughs> but it's like, oh, I didn't know that. And he's Canadian. Bing, bing. <laughs> bing, bing. <laughs> Double shocker. Double shocker, yeah. But if you close your eyes, does it hurt? Banger. I already professed my love for this song in the yeah. indie songs bracket, but now I can only hear it as A A O A O jeans are on sale. <laughs> <laughs> I did that. Yeah, that's what you did. I did that shit, bro. <laughs> Let's go. I started a fucking wave and you're just riding it. Bitch. <laughs> yeah. Talking to me? I don't know. Yeah, you okay. better get good at surfing, bitch. Just kind of yeah. like the greater you, bitch. <laughs> I don't know if you can swim, but you better learn how because you're just riding that wave, bitch. Cowabunga, dude. <laughs> but if you close, Wait, he says but that. if you close your eyes. Close. I mean, obviously, I'm going to vote for Star Spangled Banger. It's so bad. Yeah. I never want to meet the person who, like, that's their favorite song. Oh, know? yeah. And you've already met the person whose favorite song is Pompeii by Bastille. It's Riley's. That's cool. I'm going Panic at the Disco as well. Next we got Baby Shark by Pink Fong versus I'm the One by DJ Khaled featuring Quavo, Justin Bieber, Chance the Rapper, and Lil Wayne. Baby shark, do -do 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 -do. Baby shark, do -do 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 -do. Kid song, yeah, I get it's annoying, but it's, I mean, I don't know. What, is there really anything that wrong with it? I didn't know it was such like a global thing. Cause yeah. like I grew up singing this song at summer camp. Yeah, me too. Baby mm -hmm. shark do, do, and then you do mama shark do, do, and then you do daddy, daddy shark do, do, and then you do grandpa shark. shark do, yeah, do, yeah. Do, 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 do. I said this in a video and people said that I was crazy. No. We did this on swim team. Yeah. Like this is a real song that you is know. just kind of like everybody Whoa. knows it. And then this is the recording of it that somehow took off and has billions of plays. Right. Wow. I thought this was the origin. No. No. Wow. I've been singing wow. this at camp since I was like six years old. And then when I became a counselor, we did it and it was fun. And then it had to die. Like, you can't sing it at camp anymore. This is like if a big version of the song, there was a great big moose. Right. So it was a great big moose. He liked to drink, drink a lot of juice. juice. He liked to drink you a lot of juice. You know, it's yeah, just yeah. kind of like a song that people know because camp counselors sing it. Yeah. And other creeps who, you know, hang out with little kids, <laughs> they sing it to the kids and the kids yeah. learn it and love it. I wasn't a creep. Not when you were a kid. But I was when I was a counselor? I don't Ooh. know. I wasn't there. I didn't go to camp because I wasn't a fucking dork. Well, well, I'm the one. Well, well. It's like a song you'd like grind with someone random on a cruise ship. Yeah. <laughs> and they like play this in the club that's in the cruise ship. And yeah. you've been kind of like eyeballing someone at the dining room for the first couple, three days. And then this song comes on. You finally get a little, a little grind action. Yeah, a little grind action. A little action. friction. Finally, some friction. But not too much. What happens if there's too much? You can't bust at sea. <laughs> <laughs> I learned so much about life when I'm next to you. Mm -hmm. This song, like, I used to like it. I re-listened to it. It's so long. <laughs> like, it's really a torture. And it's the same beat the whole time. It, like, on recent listen, like, I actually couldn't stand it. I think know? it's wall-to-wall -wall fun. I'm not even joking. Oh. I literally, the only part I don't <laughs> like is Justin Bieber's little melody that oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, is annoying. The rest of it, though, I mean, Quavo is great on it. I like Chance the Rapper on it. Yeah, I think the Chance whole Robert's thing, the best. It's, yeah. it's, like, awesome. And the music video is so funny. It's just DJ Khaled's backyard and they're all there, pool party. Sick. I mean, it's exactly what, there's a lot of product placement, like tons of product placement in the video. I literally love this song. I don't love it, but I like it more than childhood monoton monotony. And I mean, Baby Shark's worse, but I was like surprised at how badly I'm the one is aged. But I, hey, just my opinion. I'm excited for that cruise, by the way. Yeah, I can't wait. Yeah, I cannot fucking God, wait. if we went on a cruise, that'd be so fucking fun. Oh, please. Can we go on one soon? I want the alcohol package though. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Imagine a cruise bottomless <laughs> drinks for a week. I'm scared of the man you would return as. Tell you what. <laughs> I'd be shitting liquid. That's what happens when you drink a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't had a solid poop in six months. Wow. All right. Next, we got <laughs> Jungle by X Ambassadors versus Strut by Steven Seagal. The actor, <laughs> Steven <not>? Seagal. <laughs> the band actor. No longer a lot back into the United States. Why is that? We'll get to it. Yeah! Imagine yeah. dragons have done irrevocable damage to commercials. <laughs> like, goddamn. This type of song didn't even fucking exist outside of like a, a few Muse songs in the early 2000s. Yeah. And now it is everywhere and considered like a pop song. Yeah, stomp rock anthems. Ugh. It is cringe. Because I, I also picture the people that feel empowered by this kind of music. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They don't need to be empowered. You know what I mean? Right. There are like upper middle class white people with weapons. 
Stones. Yeah. They don't need an empowerment song. They're good. <laughs> like, <laughs> like if Guitar Hero came back now, they would have the worst songs of all time on mm -hmm. there because this is the type of song they would have on. Yeah. Welcome to the jungle. Yeah. You know, it's just like someone driving around like their suburb. Welcome to the jungle. <laughs> this is like what a 30 year old listens to on his way to his weekly paintball. You know? <laughs> yeah. Like to get in his own. Mm, he's like got a full camo suit. Or even yeah. worse, like an airsoft. Yeah. Oh, I like it though. Oh. <laughs> this feels like a hate crime. <laughs> it low key is. Give, give me the give me the skinny on why is he not allowed in America? He's like an extremist and like he's like on Rodman level. He's like in bed with Kim Jong Un. Oh really? What? Yeah. He's an insane extremist. He's a fake martial artist. And when he was an action star, when he did have his heyday, he was so bad at like doing martial arts and like acting that he would just kick the shit out of all the stuntmen on his set. <laughs> so like he would like break a stuntman's back and be like, keep the movie going. And talk about someone who is incessant on having sex scenes. There's like three different action movies of his where multiple women make note of how huge his cock is and he like, his wife dies and then he sleeps with the nurse. He like wakes up out of a coma and she's like, what a hog. And he's like, <laughs> it's on, he's just a disgusting pig of a man. And this first line in this song is what the punani? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, where does he get off doing this accent? Let alone the ponytail. Am I right? Right. That yeah. thin little fucker. This one's really, really offensive. Don't tell me you're picking Jungle. Well, the, the other song's just like worse for me to listen to. Like, I really don't want to listen to fucking Jungle. Like, I'll listen to this because it's it, like it made me laugh. Oh. It is bad and it's wrong and it shouldn't have happened. <sighs> no, I'll pick it. You're right. Yeah, I, yeah, it's I don't just like be on the wrong side of history. Yeah. It's like a yeah. cheap computer reggaeton kind of like. <laughs> it's oh. weird. The Jungle one isn't like that bad. It really is that like, bad. Like, it's just mid. No, like, it's whatever. bad. Yeah. It's fine. I, we're going to go with strut, but yeah. I just, I will say, I really, really hate Jungle. Oh, next we got two titans of rock Lil Wayne Knockout <laughs> versus Traps Headstrong. This song is hilarious. That's the first clip that actually like kind of hurt me to listen to. It's so bad. Nicki Minaj is on this song doing her singing thing. Back in the day, she was kind of on this wave. And uh, Lil Wayne just sings about hooking up with white girls and asking them if they like black guys. Most of the song is about that. It's, back, just, back, back. it's pretty crazy. It's insanely bad. But this era, I like those songs. Like I just have nostalgia for Lil Wayne doing guitar music, but I get why it's here. Back on. I and mean, that's just Whoa. a real rock song. Like a fucking awesome rock song, yeah. by the way. This got requested so much that we had to put it on here. And I knew the whole time that I was just going to say, like, I think this is my favorite song in the bracket. Really? Like, I fucking love this song. But I grew up listening to 106.5 The Zone. We all understand that, yeah. you know? Yeah, we yeah. all know 106.5 The Toledo radio the station, a yeah. uh, rock radio station. They turned into ESPN radio eventually. The Zone. Of it. Get in the zone. I just would ride to school listening to this song in my headphones. Mm -hmm. And I was obsessed. Like, this song is hard. Hard to me. Makes me want to put on like tap out shorts and drink a rip it and like punch my sister in the mouth. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, I was watching a lot of WWE when I was listening yeah. to music like this. Um, it's bad. I'll take Lil Wayne though. Yeah, Lil Wayne's worse. Young people always hate this song. What? Tell me why. I just want to understand it. There's just no like beat tags, you know. There's no, <laughs> like, oh. there's no like damn, you know, or and, like no mm. like there's no produ I don't even know who produced it, and that's kind of important in songs that I listen to. I want to know who produced it. I want to know who was in the room. I want to hear I jingling and a chain jingling. Nice. There's a lot of things that I look for and and uh, forgive me, but Headstrong just has none of that. Presents none of that. Presents nothing new to the table. You're forgiven. We've got Hell Is Well by We Three versus Superman by Five for Fighting. Pastor, pastor, please. Why is it that women shouldn't preach? And that there's I just imagine Hobo Johnson listening to this and going, man, all these new rappers are just my sons, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, the way that I found this was that it was posted on Twitter with Hobo Johnson's Got Competition. Yeah. And everybody started tagging us and saying, Worst Songs Bracket 3, Worst Songs Bracket 3. And I was like, yeah, no, yeah, this is a, this is a Christian, I don't know, like, hardcore influenced Hobo Johnson type of song. Pastor, Pastor. Pastor. <laughs> it's insane. <laughs> we can just move it on. Yeah, dude. 
the rat and bean. This is another one just because of how old we are. We grew up with dads who loved this song. <laughs> I fuck with this song. I mean, I grew up loving this song yeah. and Five for Fighting in general. And I had no idea that at the time they were being clowned on. Yeah. Like people were like, this guy's voice is so weird. This band sucks. I was a kid being like, man, throw on some Five for Fighting. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? That shit spin. Yeah, this song was good. Like when I was into it, I was like, I was like, all right. Like it, it does its thing. A little you know? corny. Yeah, it's yeah, corny. It's a little corny, yeah, but yeah. like That's comparatively, totally like, come on. Yeah. yeah. You know? Really humanized uh Ken Jennings. Who what's Superman's name? <laughs> Clark Ken Ken <laughs> Clark Kent. <laughs> Ken Jennings. <laughs> the humanized uh, Kendall Jenner. What's his name? <laughs> now we got Bass Down Low by Dev versus Usher's OMG featuring Will mm. I Am. Good matchup. I kind of like it. Yeah. It's fine, right? Yeah, it's not like offensive. See, I thought that I was going to show up here and say that and you guys were going to tell me something no, that no. made it bad. No. I think it just got requested. Is that why it's here? Like, why is it here? I don't know. It's kind of like snuck into the wrong party. See, this is like my era of nostalgia. Like, yeah. this is when I was around, you know? <laughs> this is this song. <laughs> it makes me, uh, you know, think about like, uh, what are those glasses with the plastic oh, yeah. in the middle? Shutter shades. The shutter shades. I just get big shutter shades energy. Nice. Listen to this mm, shit. Bright colors, glow sticks molly sixth grade dance freaking that's what they used to call it hello you know what i'm talking about <laughs> when you'd have children grinding among each other he's no he knows what i'm talking about yeah. they would call it like freaking and they had to like ban freaking from the school dance is big we need more chaperones to stop this yeah we just you called know? it grinding yeah we would no. freak a leak we, we, we would freak a leak <laughs> i freaked a leak with some marijuana now is that you taking a white onion otherwise known as a leak and Not freaking it with marijuana? Yeah, a leak's a little bigger, no white onion. More mild in taste, too. And mm -hmm. then I put tobacco in it, smoked a vegetable cig. Healthy. Freaking a leak. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Nice. Now I'm high. Nice. Now I'm high. Nice. Now I'm high. Nice. Now I'm high. Nice. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Why is this song in here? Just the, oh, 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 it sounds like a whole stadium cheering in like a weird corny way. I actually like that part, but this song is worse on full listen than I remember it. Like when you just hear that clip, you're like, okay, we all remember that, da, da, da. but when you do the full listen, it's yeah. a fucking mess. There's so many like attempted hooks. Both these songs are like fine. Again, like they're both kind of inoffensive, like 2010 party vibe thing, like whatever. OMG is harsher on my ears. Yeah, I'll go OMG because the bass down low kind of has more more authentic swag to it. Yeah, you know? I agree. Yeah. Last one on the first side, we've got Fifi by 6 9 versus Click Click Boom by Saliva. Draco got that kickback when I blow that they all do track they don't. I have a hot take about this song. Let's hear it. I think that honestly, expectations for 6 9 were just really high. Because this is just kind of like mid. Like nothing really happens in this song. Yeah. There's not like a great hook or anything. Has a Nicki verse. It's like whatever. If he had dropped this on his original run, I feel like people yeah. would have been fine with it. Yeah. It's just that the expectations were so high because 6 9 kind of had like bangers. Like, yeah. like yeah. his like early shit is like, at least it's like entertaining. Like there's a lot happening and it's aggressive and crazy. And this was like a different vibe of a song that just didn't have much going for it. But it's not like bad in an aggressive way. I remember people really liking it though. At the time, like it was it was his biggest song. But people did know? not like it. People I mean, people were just never like liked 6 and 9 you know, but I agree. Like he did have some, you know, pretty classic bangers. It was kind of on an interesting run. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. But yeah, it's just mid. Yeah, I agree with that sentiment. It's middle of the road. He won the 69 like the cash the the beat the beat the beat the Let me guess, you love it. Yes. I, I don't love this one. Of course I love it. WWE time though. I was yeah. hearing this song every goddamn day. New metal, rapping, rocking. Come on, brother. I think this is kind of a bad version of it though. For sure. I like stuff in this genre and stuff with this energy, but this felt very like fake and corny version of that. Yeah. You know, it I was agree. not for me. Still makes me want to put on my Osiris's and big baggy denim shorts and fuck someone up. <laughs> if you could fuck someone up right now, who you. I just set myself up. Yeah, you, you know what I'm talking about. Ask me again. If you could fuck someone up, that's not me. Who would you? Who would it be? Joe Biden. What would you do to him? Kiss him. <laughs> that would fuck him up. He'd be so yeah. confused. <laughs> Mr. Biden. <laughs> You'd like, awaken something within him. He'd do his next speech. He'd be like, "You ever just feel something?" <laughs> <He'll start going. laughs> you guys want to see my Mitch McConnell impression? Yeah. <laughs> 
action in real quick. Yep. There you go. It's pretty good, right? <laughs> He's going to die by the time this video comes out. <laughs> Just saying. I'll give you 20 bucks if he does. Don't do a death pool on Mitch McConnell. Yeah, it's not yeah. a pool. Oh, my bad. We didn't ring other people in on it. This is just straight up man to man. You want to get in on this? Well, then it's a pool. And then that's yeah, well, exactly no, it. I kind of liked that idea when he said, don't do that. It's kind of like, oh, but what if we did? I'm going Fifi -fee here. I'm going click, click, boom. You know what I just thought about? We kind of look like Alvin and the Chipmunks right now. That's, he's just, he wants to be Alvin, this yeah, fucker. He does. Yeah. Which one of us is getting the best head? <laughs> <laughs> Let us know. Yeah. You know? <laughs> One, two, or three. Alvin, Simon, or Theodore? Do you have a blue him. shirt you could wear? Uh, no. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I feel like Fifi would be more entertaining to move on, but I have to be honest with myself and with my audience, and I'll say that Click Click Boom is uh, is worse. Yeah. yeah. It's fine with me. I have a bar for in between if you guys Let, want it. Let's hear the bar. <sighs> I've just been so drained recently. I feel like the only two times I'm inspired is when I'm reading the Bible or I'm sitting on the toilet. And the other day I was sitting on the John, I wrote three sixteens. <laughs> wow. There's a lot of there's a lot of moving pieces there, but it, you know, it comes together in the end. You don't sound super like that didn't sound super genuine. C plus. It works on a mathematical. You don't have to rank it. You have to use a gradient. Yeah, it, it it's, works, but it's, it's technically not, correct. Yeah, it's not blowing yeah. my ass off. Maybe you should try blowing your ass off. You might get inspired. C minus, probably in that range. <sighs> I'll give it C plus. I'll be the good cop. Okay. No such thing as a good cop. <laughs> no say. such thing as a good cop. Second half. Let's do it. First matchup we got. I'm an island boy by let's the go. island boys versus closer by the chain smokers. I Seems like the Island Boys have been getting a little closer lately. <laughs> <laughs> Did they actually make out? I inspected it very closely and I can confirm. Yeah, they made out. Like for real? I mean, it's on camera, I don't know. Unless it's some sort of AI deep fake sort of bullshit. Okay, now here's the thing. I tried to AI them making out way before it happened. Yeah. Why? It didn't really look realistic. <laughs> Why did you do that? It was a project we were working on. We were working on what? You guys were, what? Yeah. We just talk about a lot of stuff when you're yeah. around and a lot about our deepest desires. You know, we're human beings. Right? Ideas flow and, you know, flow. between me and Ben, it's like it's like a no judgment zone. Exactly. It's a safe space just for us. And for Isn't that thoughts. right, my little kitten? Okay. <laughs> now, this is a judgment zone. Oh, okay, sorry. So let's just... Let's keep that cool for the bedroom. Bit. Don't even say the, the bedroom. The war room, sorry. <laughs> the war room, thank you. <laughs> Love is a battlefield. Yeah. Reminds me of my circumcision. <laughs> it was lit, dude. I was getting all cut up. <laughs> I was going, we ain't never getting old. <laughs> and my whole family was like, hey! <laughs> Shit was fucking a fire, bro. Uh, I already talked about this song in our most streamed songs of all time tier list. And I said I like this song. I think it's fine. I feel like I was just never hot enough to really like this song. Yeah, a lot of hot people love this song and yeah. sprayed water on each other to it. Oh, well, yeah! <laughs> Bikini babes, slip and slides, bouncy houses, yeah. frat houses, sorority houses. Volleyball team. The best looking people on earth had a great time in the sun to this. Yeah. And I, when's my time in the sun? Mm -hmm. With Halsey and the chain smokers. Fuck. It's Island Boy. It is. Island Boy. I just never <laughs> felt good looking enough. Never thought I'd say these two songs in the same sentence. We've got Richmond, North of Richmond by Oliver <laughs> Anthony versus Loner by Jumex. Controversial. You can't talk about Jumex these days. Oh, because of Kanye's comments? <laughs> <laughs> Mexicans can be Jewish. <laughs> It's like a latke with verde sauce. So <laughs> Jewish guy who's never left Israel goes to Mexico City. Holy shit, look at the size of their yarmulkes. <laughs> Fudge rounds! <laughs> <laughs> Bags of fudge rounds! This dude is pissed off about taxes. Holy shit. And hates fat people. I like this song. I mean, yeah, I like the melody and like, you know, the performance and stuff, but what it's about is pretty misguided and weird. I, I literally don't know what to make of it. Just the whole political context and everything that it's wrapped up in is just such a mind fuck. Yeah. Like he went and did an interview and he just says literally the most simply positive thing where he's just like, you know, I think it's good that uh, people are different and uh, diversity is important and uh, you know I just hope that we uh, celebrate our differences and don't let them tear us apart and then literally all the comments are like I thought we had a good one 
I thought he was one of us. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know. I mean, the melodies, like, he's, he's, he has a good voice. Like, I don't know. It's just such a weird moment. I mean, it does not sound like a number one song. And that's what's weird about right now is that you can have a song like this or another one that we're going to talk about later that can get to number one based off just the type of person that's paying attention to it. Yeah. It's like a conversation that was so boring that by the time I, it got there, I was kind of like, Ah, huh, whatever. Like, yeah. I don't know. Like, okay. Yeah. I mean, it is like fat phobic at times. And it's also like, seems a little right wing leaning at times, but it wasn't so harsh in one direction that it needed to be as big of a conversation as it was. Yeah. I'm a little, I'm a little confused by the moment. You could be sad. I recently found out that a lot of people who were not paying close attention in like the SoundCloud rap era have no idea who Jumex even is. The next industry plan. I remember there was like 17 videos yeah. that all like blew up. Like the videos about Jumex and like who's the secret industry plan got more total views than his entire career. Yeah, totally. It's like really another strange moment. Yeah, it know? was like No Jumper did a video that was like, is this SoundCloud rap's final boss or something like yeah. that? Yeah. <laughs> and it's like this guy. The truth of it was that there was a viral video of him smoking a blunt in class and he was not a musician, but he had this look to him. You know, he had green hair and like a like a spiky choker on or whatever. Bradley Scoffern and Young Taco of Odd Future fame, Bradley Scoffern is Tyler Crater's manager. They saw that video and flew him out and made music videos for him and tried to plant him. It didn't really work because everybody had already seen all of it and they could tell what was going on. It took off as a meme and not as an artist. And yeah. now I, I feel bad for Jumex. I do too. I do feel bad for him. It was a failed experiment that wasn't really his fault. No. But, you know? Like, I don't know. He was just a kid. He was probably inspired by all the same shit that everybody who, like, they said he was the next that. He was inspired by that, and then he got thrown into the mix to be that, and they failed him. They turned him into, like, a fake version of it. <laughs> no, I did read his Spotify bio. Okay. And it did say, Jumex grew up being inspired by the likes of Michael Jackson, David Bowie, Nirvana. Whoa. And so, like, I, I mean, that comes through. <laughs> Big time. <laughs> Baby, I'm a loner. Yeah. We're rooting for you, though. Jumex, yeah. come back. I don't know if we'll be under the same name, but like, we, we support you here. That said, uh, yeah, it's worse. worse. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's way worse. Sorry. It is worse, though. Yeah. Rooting for you, though, pal. Now we've got Toyota Tacoma by Kara Page versus Cocaine by Brain and Lil Dicky. It's thanks to that. Hot take. If this song was sung well, I'd be gas. It'd be so fire because the lyrics are awesome. Yeah. Like I loved it. When I first, somebody sent this to me and was like, this has to be in Worst Songs 3. I learned the story of it after that. Apparently this girl was like really pushing this song and would go into Toyota dealerships and play it to the entire staff. <laughs> really wanted it to be in Toyota commercials and yeah. stuff. Uh, no. <laughs> They're not putting this in a commercial. Why it, it's, not? It, the singing is so rough. I kind of have a soft spot for this because it literally just sounds like the local girl in your high school who, you know, likes playing the guitar and recorded her stuff on GarageBand and put it on iTunes because she learned that you could do that. It's like cute enough. What is funny, uh, put put a picture of the cover art on screen. Oh, it's amazing. Um, she tried to redefine cover arts. The aspect ratio is like vertical rectangle. <laughs> and it just has black space. Like she didn't know how to do a full cover art. It's just like an iPhone photo. It's very weird. Again, it just feels like a kid making like a song. It's a little quirky. I love a Tacoma too, man. It's a good looking fucking truck. You ever get one? Did I ever get one? Yeah, you ever get one? Do I look rich? Just for a day. A rental, rental? Tacoma? Yeah. Let's go rent some Tacomas after Tacoma. this. Yeah. <laughs> would you date for a Tacoma? Like yeah. if somebody had a Tacoma, you would yeah. date them for that? If my badass bitch rolled up in a badass truck like a Tacoma, I put a ring on it. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Never even done cocaine. That Congolese <laughs> coconut concentrate. Is that, is that good? Yeah, that's nice. that. fantastic. Good. Thank yeah. you. Oh, I knew exactly what you were referring to. Yeah. Due to the alliteration and a country being in there. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. This song is like kind of good. Right. It's not as bad as its reputation. Yeah. Because it's just been memed to just be known as like one of the pioneering bad songs of our era. Uh -huh. When you listen to it, it's like, it's the little dicky thing. It's yeah, like, he's doing his thing. Whatever. I mean, like, he has a lot of different white.
white people that he uses as euphemisms for cocaine throughout that I think is honestly pretty clever. Yeah. Never been done before. Line up some of that Betsy Ross. You should do Molly. You should start with Miley. And then he says, no, roll up some of that Marley. Like it's like, <laughs> a, like you know, like it's like those oh, three yeah, in yeah. a row. Like that's pretty. It's like, I don't know. It's clever enough that it gets away with a lot of shit. That's why he's the goat. <laughs> <laughs> um, I do like his auto tune singing too. Me too. Yeah. I think he sounds good. He has a good voice. But I, I feel like I was going to say it's worse than the Tacoma. But I guess the Tacoma, just because he's so much higher profile. Like literally the Tacoma thing just feels like a kid. Yeah. You can't, you know? But you can't just like, you have to get rid of all of that. We okay. picked Baby Shark. That was sung by a six year old. <laughs> yeah. Fuck that guy. <laughs> let's, do, let's do Tacoma. You know what I mean? Taco yeah. Toyota Tacoma is definitely worse. All right. We got You See Me by Childish Gambino versus Among Us in Real Life by Rebecca Zamolo. I'm on my ball and each and every day. Asian girls everywhere. <sighs> What was he thinking? Childish Gambino from this era, when you go back to it, it is hard to imagine that people took him seriously. We thought it was edgy though. I mean, it was edgy, but like so cringy yeah. the version of it. He was definitely like trying to be Kanye and shit too. Like he sounds a lot like Kanye on this album, but this is like, what vocal inflection is this? Asian girls everywhere. <laughs> is he ever? Like It's weird. It's, it's so odd. And he says so many questionable things, but you can tell at the time he he was like, man, nobody's saying shit like this. I don't know. I, I kind of like listening to these old Childish Gambino songs sometimes because it makes me feel less alone, <laughs> right. you know, because I'm like, look at like his evolution, like where he was, yeah. you know? I mean, I was like 15 when I was kind of yeah. doing stuff kind of like this. Yeah, he was but, like 28. Yeah, but uh, it's still like, I, I, I always like seeing the polar opposites of an evolution. You yeah, know? and look at him. He made one good album ever. Wow. Just like you, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's true. Who's the imposter? Looking sus. Who can we trust? Who's the I mean, that just sound like Jimmy Wapo. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the piano bee. It sounds just like it. <laughs> I remember oh syrup sandwiches God. and gram allowances. Yeah. Oh you know, sit God. down, be humble. Yeah. Wow. This is an Among Us rap song. Do we have to grade this on the same scale? Because <laughs> no. this is like obviously the dumbest shit ever. It's going to age so poorly. It's a rap song about Among Us. And it's YouTubers. Yeah. Like, like it's not a real musician. Like I don't even. There's no way we can we can move Childish Gambino. Oh, no, no, not at all. Okay, okay. Not cool, at cool, cool, all. Cool. I'm just saying like it doesn't like count as a song. No. Yeah. <laughs> like it was an idea. A marketing idea that they had. Who can we trust? <laughs> it's super sus. <laughs> <laughs> now we've got Ame Bibapi, Chin Up High, versus Rockstar by Nickelback. Oh, yeah. Dude, it's fire. Like, yes. like unequivocally. Like, when it first came out, yeah. I, I listened to this and was just like, this is just sick. Party till I die. With my chin up oh, high. Hi. Fuck them all. Fuck them bye. That's <laughs> yeah, so sick. Dude, it's, sick. it's like it reminds me of like a uh, like Crayshon. Also, just a good song. Uh, like Nickelback is, I don't, I mean, I get the whole like, oh, the worst band, blah, 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 but all their hits are hits for a reason. People fucking love this song. It's a novelty. You know, it tells a story. Divorced dad and Ed Hardy pants with gel in his hair. Exactly. He asks for a quesadilla on one of the ad libs, which I thought was a nice touch. When he's describing like what he gets when he's famous, he's like, I just get whatever I want or something. And then the ad lib is like, I'll have one quesadilla, please. <laughs> it's like in the song. In this song? In Rockstar. Unless I'm thinking of another one on this fucking bracket. I just doubt that it would be in that song. I've never heard that. Can we look it up? I think it's the second verse. Yeah. Sign a couple autographs so I can eat my meals for free. I'll have the quesadilla. Oh, no, yeah. Huh. So he does order a quesadilla in this song. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's pretty awesome. On principle, I got to move that one over. It's not one of the worst ones on the bracket, you know? I, I just genuinely like the chin up high one. And the Rockstar one's just like, Bleh. Yeah. So it's like, I'm going to move that one over. Same. Rockstar leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Really? Yeah. What the hell? I thought we were Nickelback brothers. No? No. What? Not wrong, buddy. What the hell? I hate that shit. It reminds me of when my parents got divorced. <laughs> <laughs> Same here. That's why I like it. Your parents are still together. No, you and your I were meant to when your parents got divorced. <laughs> it was my fault. <laughs> Next, we got the Beatles, Yellow Submarine versus She Bangs by Ricky Martin. Yellow Submarine. 
just because it's the worst song in the Beatles catalog doesn't mean it belongs on this list. This exactly is a terrible right. song. No, no, it's not. no. Yes, no. it is. Upon it's, let me let me defend please. it for you. Upon re-listen, like when I was going into it, I was like, okay, yeah, Yellow Submarine sucks. Then I re-listened to it. It's texturally really cool. It's the like, Beatles. It's, it's of course these, it like, is. It's got these like cool little like metallic C sounds. Yeah. It's a little like chummy, you know. Yeah. But it, just the way it's recorded, it really does like create a world. Yeah. Like it's just like a different level. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's like the Beatles. Yeah. This is like Baby Shark to me. No. 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 <laughs> In the town where I was born. It's gosh, dude. Let's go. <laughs> It's awesome. Yeah. I, I can't. You know what's worse? What? Octopus's Garden. Octopus Garden? In an octopus's garden <laughs> in the sea. Yeah, that song sucks too. I'm just saying Yellow Submarine is like some fucking baby shit. Well, it's Ringo. Those are all Ringo's songs and they fucking suck. But the, like I said, the worst Beatles songs are leagues better than anyone's on here's best song. <laughs> I don't think that's well, true. Maybe not anyone on here's best song. It's not better than like Childish Gambino's best song. It's not better than Nickelback's best song. That's not true. Yes, it is. For you, maybe. But I think me and the majority of people would say. These five words in my head. Never made it as a white man. <laughs> <laughs> Putin hates me. Scientists fucking can't stand me. <laughs> that's a bad song. Bad. It is a really, really bad song. I did not even know it existed until William Hung. What's that? Wow, you are young, man. God, you damn. are good. No, wait, no, you should know about this. You went to American Idol. Yeah? You went to American Idol. Yeah, yeah, when I was young. When you were young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. William Hung was the guy who auditioned. It's like the most famous bad audition of American Idol ever. And he sang She Bangs. Oh. She bang, she bang. She go crazy, she move, she move. And then he like got famous from it. Oh, I don't even remember that. Really? Yeah. Bad though. Worse than the Beatles. Yeah, it's I worse. agree, I agree. All right, we've got Winded Up by Gwen Stefani versus Three Years Sober by 93 Punks. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> aside from the Yoda Leahy shit, the rest of the song is pretty fire. She was such a bad bitch. Like when she says shit like that, mm. It goes hard. She and Pharrell were on yeah. some crazy shit back then. This part that has just been played is the best part of the song. Yeah. Like, it's the verses yeah. and the weird bravery is like, so I fuck myself and call it <laughs> masturbation. Yeah, I fuck myself and call it <laughs> masturbation. Yeah! And then he does, it's like very uncomfortable yeah. verses. It's a shame that this happened because I am rooting for Vic Men Mensa, you know? Yeah. This but. is a, this is Vic Mensa and Travis Barker, by the way. <laughs> yeah. For people who don't know, that's what 93 Punks is. This song is embarrassing and tough to listen to. So much harder than Gwen Stefani, and not in a good way. Next, we got Animals by Maroon 5 versus Sweet Caroline by Neil Diamond. Dude, two classics. American classics here. They're like, how can we use his voice in the most annoying <laughs> way? Yeah. You have great range, Adam. Let's make it obnoxious. You deny! Huh. I was reminded recently, we have been coming up with a, a playlist for our karaoke songs bracket. I was reminded that She Will Be Loved and Sunday Morning Exist. It makes me hate songs like this even more yeah. mm -hmm. when I realized they made some actual classics, like right. songs that are incredible. And yeah. then they went on to make a lot of bad pop radio music that could all be on this bracket, like a lot of it could be on this bracket because it's so annoying. Yeah, it turns out Adam's a monster, so that makes sense. He's not a monster. He sends He's a some disgusting bad beast of a man. I don't get why you keep doing this. Like, you just go hard <laughs> at him, and then you admit that your texts are way worse. I'm not saying I'm better, but he's a disgusting, <laughs> despicable man. I don't get what makes him so despicable. Like, in the grand scheme of things, like, when it comes to, like, dramas and, like, Cheating you know, drama, on your wife is not good, Riley. I didn't say it was. I'm just saying. You probably like think shit like that's cool. Yeah. No, yeah. he just didn't kill anybody. Yet. <laughs> yeah. He killed a marriage. People would say that's like killing two people. It's not. <laughs> I don't think people, most people would say that's not true. You killed a holy matrimony. matrimony. Let's go. One thing that makes the song even more uncomfortable is that it's sexual. We're like animals. Like it's like, no, I don't want to think about on that. you tonight. It's hard to even think about the words. I think of them as like shapes in my head, like the way you're singing. <laughs> Rain on you tonight. <laughs> like it's just uh, like in a different world. I don't know. <laughs> 
I love it. You I, love that song? I know he probably loves it. It makes sense. I've n- like never liked this song. Me but in the con- in the context of again all of these songs, it's like a good one in yeah. my opinion. But whenever it comes on, you know, at like a sporting event, or then everybody acts like it's the first time they've heard it in a while, even though they hear it every fucking week and sing it the exact same way with the same enthusiasm, and it's the same types of people, and it's the annoying people that I don't like, and even though they do that. It's still better than Animals, so whatever. It's I, a I classic animals, tune. Yeah, it's a classic. I just can't hear it without hearing clinking beers in yeah. between it. Like, know, like right. That's really what it is. In public, this song is like an invasive plant. It's so true. Like it's just everywhere. No matter where you look, you're going to hear it, and white people are going to be singing along to it. And I really, really can't stand it. It's like a close one for me, but honestly, Animals is more like in-your-face annoying. Yes. So. It's a worse song. Yeah. It's a shame what happened to Sweet Caroline because I think like if you had the time and the capacity to just listen to it alone it's like a 70s like you know late 70s kind of singer songwriter white guy anthem yeah but yeah. you just are forced to hear it in the most toxic of atmospheres and why is it always received with the exact same enthusiasm every time I feel like I'm in a fucking simulation with this shit dude for real <laughs> but <laughs> I didn't know you believed in that shit y- yeah yeah oh now we got Bones by Imagine Dragons versus Boogie and your butt by Eddie Murphy. Every week I find a new worst Imagine Dragons song. <laughs> like, like each bracket, I'm just like, oh, no, this one's definitely the worst one. This one sucks. Yeah. Like I cannot imagine this song existing as a hit song if it weren't by an already successful band. It feels like a royalty-free song that like dude perfect commissioned. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Entertainment! Hey, I ain't putting no boogie in nobody, but that's nasty, man. <laughs> what was he cooking? The thing with this era of Eddie Murphy is just he's in the studio with Rick James. So just Rick James songs being past Eddie Murphy. And Eddie Murphy just kind of like talks and tells jokes over him and sings yeah. and does his thing. But this one is particularly strange <laughs> and yeah. kind of annoying. And I just didn't know it existed, honestly, yeah. until yeah. people started commenting it. But like the instrumentation is more entertaining and like has a quality to it that is more palatable than anything Imagine Dragons ever did. And if you switch the lead singers on these two songs, I mean, what the <laughs> fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. Now we got Brandon H. Wood, Could It Be You, versus With Arms Wide Open by Creed. I like a punk rock chick with hair just like Rihanna. Talk about shutter shades, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Let's go. Dance like Lady Gaga. <laughs> I like the melody, I'm not gonna lie. The, the melody. Need a go-go girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what is the enunciation on all of this? It's so strange. Childish Gambino in 2010, like he heard that and he was like, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Say something. Yeah, say you. something. I fucking dare you to dare. say something about that song. Gas. Thank you. Yeah. God damn it. Probably the best song in the bracket. It might be. Welcome to this place with arms wide open. One of the best music videos of all time, too. When they did this at a <laughs> Cowboys Thanksgiving halftime, they gave them wings, zip lined them across the stadium. Every mom in the nation shed a fucking tear, Ben. Yeah. I'm going to play this at my grandfather's funeral. Didn't that happen like years ago? Missed opportunities. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely the punk rock chick Thank song. you. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah, the guitars on the Creed song sound kind of fire. They're it insane. Everybody just, it's just his voice and Scott Stapp lost his mind and like did a lot of, I don't know what he did, something. You're telling me that was the guy from The Office? <laughs> <laughs> what? That's just for like the folks at home type yeah, shit. Yeah, we won't get it. Oh, okay. Scott Stapp did lose his mind though and abandon his children and he believes in a lot of conspiracies. <laughs> I think he believes that the president lives under a volcano. <laughs> now we got Try That in a Small Town versus Hey Boy by Sia and Burna Boy. Oh, God. Try that in a small town. See ya. Being from a small town, this kind of shit pisses me off. Explain why. Yeah, why? Because we're good people. You can try whatever you want once. <laughs> Once? Well, if we don't like it. We? Who's we? My small town and I. <laughs> oh, the, your small town? <laughs> yeah. Okay, they judge what you try? What anyone tries. Okay. It's Th- not threatening. You can try it, and if it sucks, then we'll see how far. You can make it down. 
the road. <laughs> <laughs> I hesitate to bring this up because I don't want to piss off any small town. Small already pissed. Specifically your small town. Uh, there's a lot of like racism surrounding this song. Like they filmed a music video at a, a lynching site. Oh yeah, it's also the state building. Yeah. They built the state building on a lynching <laughs> site too. No, totally. I'm not saying that this song is uh, more at fault than right. the history itself. Yeah. You know, I'm just saying it didn't avoid all that. It has some really like a uh, poor placed kind of footage of protests oh, yeah. and uh it seems has protests to be... from other countries in it <laughs> footage of like ukrainian riots <laughs> yeah slovenia they're like, they're like if these motherfuckers from slovenia <laughs> it's like yeah. when they're like look what's going on in la and it's like war zone footage from slovenia <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like i'll never move to a liberal state like california <laughs> this one is actually racist in the way that the oliver anthony one is like a little more subtly i mean whatever there's like a million youtube video reactions where they're like I don't think this is racist and da 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 but like you know when it's like around here we take care of our own yeah we all know what they're trying to say there also just sonically the song sounds like a crossfade transition <laughs> I, that's just what I envision I just envision a bunch of things crossfading into each other yeah. like that's what it has going for it yeah I, I don't like how the song sounds either <laughs> no thanks doesn't sound like a perfectly fine example of pop country with good rock and instrumentation not to me at least when those guitars come in that shit fucking smacks though. it sounds dated lie. though and it's like the dog whistle tone of pop country that would have really hit in like 2020 it's like if this song came out at the height of COVID and like the Black Lives Matter protest the target audience would have loved it and not to say that they didn't love it in this moment but like just feels like kind of late to the party Jason Aldean one didn't write this song and two got a number one hit with this song right so this is number one and it's the exact thing that's happening right now is like when those people get riled up that song goes number one that's just how it works nowadays which is a bummer and we need to figure it out i gotta well, start doing shit like that dude nope i don't think so Great that's idea, a wrong dog. way to get a number one do it on the flip side though try that in the big city <laughs> your country hick fuck hey boy what you got this song, what the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? Sia did Chandelier. I know. Like, I'm disappointed that she did this. What do you mean you're disappointed? Like, you thought Sia was like a good artist? Yeah. Really? Better than this. Hey, boy. Man, I don't know. I'm disappointed in Burner Boy, too. Probably got racks for this shit, bro. <laughs> and I'm proud of him. Do you think because uh, the song's called Hey, Boy, she's like, who's somebody named a boy that I can get on this song? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just postulating. Yeah, I heard that uh, Boy Genius was supposed to be on it first. And be a young boy passed on it. I heard Boy in a Band was actually supposed to be on it too. Probably don't know who that is. But all the real YouTube folks know that that guy was a bad guy. <laughs> a bad boy. A bad Everybody boy. likes a bad boy. Yeah, I'm going with Hey Boy here, easily. Really? Yeah, <laughs> me too. I, mean, I'm, 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 I would much rather listen to Try That in a Small Town. And I'm all knowing. I'm going to know the whole time yeah, that yeah, it's yeah. bad. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. going to know why it's bad and all that stuff, but I'd rather hear it in my ears yeah. than Hey Boy. Like, it was like, catchy. Hey Boy was like one of the hardest to sit through. Yeah. So I mean, whatever. Let's throw it. And also, I could have a podcast afterwards about the Jason Aldean thing. Right? That's you know? true. I'm not going to have a podcast about Hey Boy by Berna Blancia. Yeah. Next we've got Will I Am featuring J-Lo and Mick Jagger, mm -hmm. T-H-E, which stands for the hardest ever, versus Peaches, Fuck the Pain Away. So interesting story about how I found this song. So I was looking through a list of the worst hit songs of the 2000s to try to find stuff to add to this bracket. And I listened to the first half of this song and was like, oh, okay, you know, whatever. And then I was like, wait a minute, Mick Jagger's on this song. <laughs> Where's his part? And then I listened to the end of it. Yeah. And oh my God, like, how did he agree to this? Well, he did it. He's just a lunatic. But like, what the fuck is he doing on this song? Like, yeah, baby. It's not just <laughs> him though, dude. Yeah, like, I mean, the rest of the song is it's bad. It's a mess. There's like all these weird slowdowns, like the tempo changes like 20 BPM for no reason. And then <laughs> it changes back like five seconds later. It's like a real fucking weird. It's like a, you sewed a bunch of random people's limbs together and made a person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it makes no sense. <laughs> Peaches of peaches, like sex on the beaches. Fire. This one just depends on how you look at it. Yeah. Like you can either think it's awesome or you're like musically like what the fuck is going on here? I think in both ways you look at it, it's pretty fucking cool. Same, dude. <laughs> yeah. It's got a lot of authentic swag as I have said previously in this video. Mm -hmm. You know, it just feels like really unique. There's not another song like this on the list. Like there's a lot of boilerplate like pop slogs. 
that what you said? Yeah, place? slogs, yeah. Slogs. Hop but slogs. this is like a breath of fresh air again. It's like kind of exciting. It's just like out there, weird. I mean, it's definitely way better than the Will I Am song. Yeah. yeah for sure. Now we got Maury Calliope's Huge W hmm. versus Beverly Hills by Weezer. <laughs> Huge W. I feel like I missed something with this one too, but it is tough to listen to. You know what I found out this morning that I wouldn't have known? What? Same person as Demon Dice. Wait, really? This is their like alter ego or something. Ugh. And like they have two projects and I guess both of them are like the worst artist ever. I guess that's what they're <laughs> going for. I don't what? know. Move them both to the final. <laughs> <laughs> I do like this one though a little more, even though it's like so overtly, it's just insane. Like yeah. it's like a real opus, you know? And I have to, I have to respect the ambition that, you know, this person is in a completely like weird lane of their own creation and like just going balls to the wall with it. So I do have to respect that. Sounds like putting your hand in an outlet. Why is this one in here? I was thinking the same thing, but I think we were just so young when this came out that we weren't being critical about music at all. Yeah. Like this was just a hit Weezer song. So I was just like, oh good. But then now I listen to it and I'm like, oh yeah, this song does suck. Yeah, I guess. It's one of those ones that stuck with me though. Yeah. Like the other day, before I even started listening for this bracket, I just woke up with it in my head. My eyes opened to the day and I said, living in Beverly Hills. And I live in Gross Point. Yeah. <laughs> so it made no sense. Yeah, I don't live in Beverly Hills. No, it's just a catchy fucking tune. You remember Pork and Beans by Weezer? Love that song too. That one's good. Yeah. I feel like the bad era of Weezer is good. Is is good to us because <laughs> of just we just grew up with it yeah. as kids and we're like, yeah, it's definitely better than the, the Maury Calliope mm -hmm. song. You know, like that's like one of the worst ones. Next we've got 21 Pilots Lane Boy versus Da Win and Silento Dessert. <laughs> One of their best tracks. What? Yep. You think this is one of their best songs? <laughs> I've only heard like four, so this is one of the better ones. Yeah. <laughs> it's got a little groove to it. It's just like what this song is about plus what it sounds like. Like it's their song about how they should be allowed to rap. Like there's a line where it says like, I didn't grow up in the hood, but I know a thing or two about pain and darkness. Real. I mean, that's real as fuck. Yeah. They're from Columbus, bro. Yeah. They're a youth group band from Columbus, Ohio turned Hard. Grammy winner. You gotta fight for your white. Rap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, the sentiment of the song is just so bad, dude. I do like when it does that drum and bass thing at the end. That shit kind of goes crazy. Yeah, yeah. You know? They take a few risks on this one, but the yeah. hook is like a reggae. Yeah. It's weird. Just <laughs> stay in your lane. But I'm surprised they didn't do a full-on Jamaican accent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You want me to stay in my lane? Well, check this accent out. <laughs> Walk one. <laughs> 21 pilots. <laughs> what you gonna do with that dessert? Do what? Do what? Do that? Just the drop on the song being doop dop doop witty dop doop witty. <laughs> it's like a scat, like scat dubstep. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's more intentionally silly though. And like the serious tone of the 21 Pilot song is what makes that so like gaggable for me and not yeah. in a good way. I, I would mean, rather hear Lane Boy though. I do like that last part, but I think Lane Boy should move on in my opinion. Yeah. It's like contextually worse. It's just like, I just can't believe the drop on that song is just doop dop doop witty dop doop witty. <laughs> Bop. It sounds to me like somebody's just making fun of music. <laughs> like they're like, oh yeah, what what do you want? Some music? Oh yeah, do 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 it, do do it, do. I don't need that. You know, I don't need music. Give me a book in the news. <laughs> yeah, we could do Lane Boy. All right, now we got Florida Georgia Line Cruise versus Frank Sinatra with Baby It's Cold Outside. Great hook, iconic. The mix on the song is so bad. Like it's goofy. like it stood out of like there's no low end. It literally is just like all of the instruments at full blast. <laughs> it's really odd. It sounds like a nightmare. But I like the hook. You don't need low end in country though. You know what I mean? I mean if there's drums. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I like to have them up here. You know what I, mean? <laughs> I like to have the drums up here with me. I want them to tickle. This song is like I know why it's bad. I know people hate it and blah blah blah. But every time it comes on, I got a soft spot for it. And I don't. 
don't know why. In like five years, this would be like our 90s country. Like despite this being maybe the worst era of country music ever, a couple tracks are always going to stand out in this weird palette that should have never existed. Yeah, it's going to squeak through. We're going to hear this in like 10 years and be like, baby, you're a song. And it just brings back something. Yeah. It's kind of yeah. nice in like a terrible, awful, twisted way. Country has a weird way of aging. It ages like no other music. Yeah. You know, like I remember 2000s country people being like, oh, country's over. Like it's not, it doesn't have the same whatever. Mm -hmm. Now you hear before he cheats and you're like, that's a classic a song. Yeah. Like that's amazing. Hey, what's in that No drink? cabs to be had out there. Did you just say what's in that drink? Yeah. Whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> this song, the reason it's here yeah. is, while it is a classic Christmas song, it is about a guy, Frank Sinatra in this instance, trying to convince a woman to stay over in the creepiest way. There's a lot of creepy yeah. lines. Just to be clear, he did not write this song. I'm 90% sure. I don't, want to I don't want all the blame to be put on old blue eyes here. Let's find out who did it and lock him up. Yeah. Oh, they're probably dead. Oh, well, lock him back up. Yeah, throw their corpse in jail. Ah, fuck them. <laughs> yeah, fuck the corpse in jail. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Tie the corpse up to the wall and let all the inmates come and fuck it. Yeah. Yeah, what wow. he said. Yeah. That's kind of crazy. Yeah. 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 Is that what you want? You're an ally. <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of a tough matchup in like the weirdest way it is. because like the baby's call outside is kind of like it sounds sick it's just like what it's saying is terrible and has aged awfully but mm -hmm. again it's from like you know the 1600s or whatever <laughs> 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 Florida Georgia like that the, the song sounds bad but that hook is so Good. creamy this has got a creamy hook I kind of feel like Cruz should move on though I don't know. I, I, think so. I, I feel like it's baby. Yeah, I know yeah, for baby, I, it's cold outside. Yeah. I just think like the fact that it did sneak through until now where people still listen to it every Christmas and aren't thinking about those lyrics is a testament to like how bad it is. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like I saw Mommy Kissing Santa Claus. That song's fucked up too. Yeah. Because Santa's not real. And if your kid's hallucinating their mom kissing something that isn't even real, like they're fucked up. And they're probably on drugs. And drugs are a big problem in the youth too. Yeah. And yeah. Specifically no. painkillers. But those won't make you hallucinate so we're talking about some other sort of substance here perhaps lsd or psilocybin more commonly weed. known as shrooms yeah you know, high doses of weed also yeah. could do it 2cb you're missing your favorite ketamine nope uh, mdma the old benny oh benadryl yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> i saw a hat man kissing santa claus that's two made up creatures kissing each other yeah. <laughs> creatures <laughs> yeah let's go baby it's cold out yeah. <laughs> last one in the first round we've got theory of a dead man Bitch Came Back versus Nicholas Fraser Why You Always Lying Almost as wow. the cadence of like a holiday song The bitch came <laughs> back <laughs> the day. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah Holiday by Green Day Fuck yeah Dude that song makes me nauseous yes. Like it is literally the worst vibe ever It's like the <laughs> worst charisma The bitch Yeah That's a real bitch <laughs> Women It's like the worst <laughs> vibe ever Like ugh Like that's scaring the hoes yeah. You yeah. know like literally Like I never want to meet the person Person who this is their favorite song. Oh. This one. Yeah, this band had that thing that like Buck Cherry had. Yeah. It's like misogyny mixed with a genre that doesn't always have it. And they are so brash with everything they do that the misogyny is like this close to your face while yeah. you're listening to the songs. And yeah. it is like, oh God. It's but they don't even care. Like people listen to it, don't even give a shit. They do. And they like it. Yeah, like it's clearly novelty, but I just feel like the people who are listening to it are like identifying. You know what I'm saying? They're like, yeah. 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 Stop fucking lying. Yeah. Always lying. This song's awesome. Yeah. You're making it hard for me. Yeah, it's an interpolation of Too Close by Next, yeah. like a classic R&B song, a really good song. And mm -hmm. this is just like novelty. It's used for tons of like reactions. It's a good yeah. like TikTok sound. Like I, it shouldn't be in here. I don't see why it's even considered a bad song. It's like a joke. Right. right? It's, it's well executed. That's like, what makes Theory of a Dead Man win this matchup very easily. Earnest misogyny will always be a bad joke song. Yeah. Oh, wait. Not, unless we're doing, like, best song. <laughs> and it, I'm saying, like, in a worse songs bracket, yeah. earnest misogyny will always be a bad joke song. Correct. And it's a good joke song, too. A Vine classic. We made it. First round. 
completed. On to round two. All right, no more clips. We're in the second round. Let's play it out. American Authors Best Day of My Life versus Swish Swish by Katy Perry. Best day. So easily best day. Swish Swish, honestly, honorable mention for one of the best songs on the bracket. <laughs> kind of, yeah. Sick. All right. Uh, <laughs> now we got Laughing Gnome David Bowie versus Snake Eyes by Demon Dice. Snake Eyes. So easily. Laughing Gnome is so funny. It's, I, yeah. I love it. It's just David Bowie losing his mind. <laughs> Now we've got Lonze's The Grinch versus The World's Smallest Violin by AJR. AJR for me. Lonze is like bad, but like you, like we said, like a hundred monthly listeners. Yeah. Kind of just like a moment because he, of an artist maybe actually having a breathing problem. <laughs> And that doesn't feel great being like, yeah, it fucking sucks, dude can't breathe. <laughs> I don't think he has a breathing He could, problem. how would we know? I don't know, man. He's literally going. <laughs> <laughs> I like that song. I don't it's even. It's sick, dude, yeah, it's hard yeah. as hell. World's Smallest Violin is actually bad. That song sucks dick. <laughs> now we got XXX Tentacion, School Shooters with Lil Wayne versus Gucci Gang by Drake Bell. <sighs> Show me Gucci Gang. Yeah, the X song again shouldn't exist, but Gucci Gang is just so cringy. It's like unbelievable. Yeah, there's yeah. something mildly entertaining about hearing Lil Wayne talk about killing himself in front of this whole class. <laughs> mildly. <laughs> Oh my god. We got Supply Eyes versus Star Spangled Banger. I think Supplies is worse. I don't know, dude. I hate Star Spangled Banger, but it's like clean and polished, and Supplies is like weird and ugly. But the Panic at the Disco on, like, the clip we heard was like decent. But yeah. the full song, I feel like, is so much worse than that. I go Supplies here. I kind of like listening to it more. Like, it's more catchy. I've been singing that all week. I got Supply Eyes. It, but it's, okay. oh, it's way <laughs> yeah. worse. Like, Panic at the Disco has a bunch of songs like that. They're whatever. Supplies, like, is a doomsday prepper pop song by Justin Timberlake. Like, that is an insane sentence. He was trying to wake the people up, man. Yeah, I'm sticking to my guns. Supplies, guys. All right, whatever. He literally says, we'll be living in the walking dead. <laughs> Baby Shark versus Strut by Steven Seagal. It's gotta be Strut. I mean, Baby Shark made it out of the first round. It's like, fine, but it's a kid's song. Strut is a grown man, a grown white man saying, give him that punani. And it's like <laughs> 16 minutes long. Like the yeah. baby shark is a sweet minute. You know? <laughs> yeah. Minute 16. Like you could play baby shark for a baby and it would make the baby happy. If you played Steven Seagal's song for a baby, you would ruin a kid's life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They'd grow up like fictional Lil Wayne in the egg song. You know? <laughs> All right, speaking of Lil Wayne, we got Lil Wayne Knockout with Nicki Minaj versus Hell As Well by We Three. <laughs> it's gotta be Hell As Well, dude. Yeah. yeah. Bastard, bastard, please! You're <laughs> and my mom's in the other room, and I'm nine and you're 52! <laughs> what was bro cooking, dude? Those stories should be told, but not this way. <laughs> no. Not this way. I'm really hoping that this is just him doing like a painting a vignette of a story because that makes it so much easier to make fun of. Yeah, yeah totally. Know? And I just, I would feel bad if not. Now we got <laughs> Usher and Will I Am's OMG versus Click Click Boom by Saliva. I'm going OMG on it. I'm flipping. I'm going Click Click. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh <laughs> my God. Whoa, oh, that's kind of fire. I kind of feel like I can at least dance to OMG. Yeah. Click, click, boom is just corny, like whatever. OMG is a mess, but it's a fun mess. Yeah, there's True. parts in there that are groovy. Oh. Girl, I want to love you down. So, so many ways to love you. Yeah, that is pretty fire. Ooh, we got an interesting matchup here. Island Boys versus Loner. <laughs> I go Island Boys here. I think that the melody here is so much worse. Yeah. Like, I'm an island boy. Like, it goes nowhere. It's like it took a left time, turn into the yeah. ocean, you know? It does do that. But listen to the Jew, like the lyrics, bro. It's like, you could be mad, cause baby, I'm a loner. You could be sad, cause, cause baby, baby, I'm a loner. Yeah. Why? You guys spent 40 minutes defending Jumex in the first round, and now you're going to just keep pushing him on? But did Jumex kiss uh, his family members? We don't know. There's nothing That's to true. disprove it. But... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Let's, For me, it's Island yeah, Boys. Yeah, whatever. Let's do Island Boys. Yeah, Island Boys is just worse. I'm sorry. Yeah, it like, is. But you bought their NFT, so I mean, I don't know why so you thought it was them. an investment. Yeah, but now he's he's <laughs> going against his own it best interest. It was a interest. discount. And honestly, if they move further in the bracket, we could like mention them a few more times, and then boom, 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 boom. An Island Coin to the moon. Island <laughs> Coin. <laughs> I got some Island Coin. Everybody's got to try a few get-rich-quick schemes. Yeah. yeah. I've been getting rich slow for so long, I thought I'd try a little shortcut. How's it working so far? Great. 
Honestly, one of the best investments <laughs> I've ever made. <laughs> I honestly think there's a worse Jumex song, by the way. Trapped is worse than Oh, than that's longer. the one is the screaming one. Yeah, the one. screaming one. Oh, that one's awful. Toyota Tacoma versus Among Us in Real Life. Come I on. think Among Us in Real Life is 10 times worse than Toyota Tacoma. I agree. I enjoyed Toyota, Toyota Tacoma. Like, it's got I, a narrative. It's And it's like, there are some weird choices yeah. made in the way that this song is sung that are entertaining <laughs> for me. Yeah, it's based in reality. Mm. And I know it says Among Us in Real Real life, but really, it's just about a stupid little video game, and I hate video games. And it's a sus, a sus. Remember when AOC was playing uh, Among Us with the Corpse Husband? That was fucking sick. That was fucking. I miss sick. that era, bro. Life was simple. Rebecca Zamolo. <laughs> More like Rebecca Zamoron. You know, what I'm talking about. <laughs> <You're> dumbass. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, shut the fuck up, Rebecca. Yeah. Hey, I think we can all get behind that. You yeah. Know? Fuck yeah. Rockstar by Nickelback. She bangs by Ricky Martin. She bangs easy. Yeah. Yep. So easy. A walk right to Bang Town. <laughs> <laughs> She's a walking banger. <laughs> <laughs> For the folks at home, that's uh, it's an old classic. All right, Three Years Sober by 93 Punks versus Animals by Maroon 5. Animals. Whoa, you guys Ooh. said different things at the same time. Uh, very thing. confidently, too. And both literally the opposite. Convince me for two <laughs> seconds. Okay, let me do the opening verse. I was a something looking for the something. I was a something looking for the heroin. I was lost. Okay, yeah, you're right. It's probably worse. I was gone. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's just a trend of people getting a little too late into their 20s and wanting to recapture their youth by doing like... Emo music. We didn't do emo music. YouTube wasn't part of my youth. The Civil War was. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's going to be part of your adulthood, too, with the way that these number one songs keep coming out. You know? <laughs> Bones by Imagine Dragons versus Could It Be You, Punk Rock Chick. These songs both fucking suck really bad. Like yeah. This is one of the first really tough matchups in the second round. Really? But I'm going to go with Bones. Yeah, Same. I feel like Bones is, Bones is it. Punk Rock Chick is at least fun to listen to <laughs> yeah. as a bad song. Bones just sucks. Like, yep. that's it. Doesn't Imagine Dragons have another song that's like, ah! I feel it in my bones. That's them, right? It's radioactive. Oh, it's, yeah. Yeah, that's another yeah. one. Yeah, that's so what They're always yeah. talking about bones, these yeah. guys. They feel it in their bones, yeah. I got a bone to pick when you know <laughs> I'm talking about. I got a bone to pick. <laughs> hey Boy by Sia and Burna Boy versus T-H-E by Will I Am, Mick Jagger, and J-Lo. I'm going T-H-E. Yeah. It's more of an explosive bad song. The Mick Jagger experiment with Will I Am. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> like they mix a cat with a frog. Krog. <laughs> or frat. Well, those are good. It does give you brotherhood for life. And if you're hot, they let you drink for free until you black out. <laughs> and they tie you up and push you down the stairs and light you on fire, all so that you can have friends that you pay for. Mm -hmm. And they I fuck you in the ass. Sorry, continue. <laughs> you know what my favorite part about living in the frat house was? What? Lots of windows. Lots of natural light. <laughs> my favorite part of the frats was the bullying. The bullying. <laughs> Just straight up picking on people. <laughs> okay. Belittling them. Right. Belittling yeah. people that were already lesser than. Or more than whatever. I would just use my power to make them feel worse. That was my favorite part. What was the best bullying you ever did, an individual? Ooh, murder of uh, Daniel Theismann. What? What? Yeah, we killed a kid. <laughs> Dude, he could not cut it, man. Couldn't drink for shit. No riz. Would hiccup when you gave him a zin. It's like, dude, you are a pussy. How long have zins been around? When were you in a frat? Last week? Two weekends ago? No. <laughs> what? Dude. Oh, I'm not in the fraternity. I was just there. Bullying. And you killed a kid. I helped kill a kid, yeah. What? Yeah. Did you hear him? He said he had no riz. What is he supposed to do? He had no riz. He can't drink for shit. And he would hiccup when you gave him a zin. So you killed him? I mean, it didn't start off as like, hey, boys, let's murder him. But yeah, we roughed him up. And then once he was unconscious, he could no longer defend himself. So we just he kept stomping. It became pretty apparent that he was dead. Almost took his head off his shoulders. I, why would you ever say this, let alone on camera? Because my brothers, dude. I do it with the brothers. And that kid was a total pussy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. His parents were like, we're going to sue the school. What? I was dude. like, I don't even fucking go here. I was like, I'm just an alumnus. <laughs> Dude, pussies. What? I was like, no wonder you're such a pussy. Look at your fucking dad. I feel Dude was a prick. I think he works for a cable company. <laughs> 
fuck out of here. I feel the need to say that I was not in a fret, actually. Uh, I just did that for wordplay earlier. I just yeah. don't want to be associated at the current moment. Yeah, I'm not in it either. Like I said, I just went back to hang out at an old stomping ground. <laughs> you know when they say, like, you're going back to the stomping grounds, right. it's not like they don't actually stomp there, usually. Well. I don't know how to move on from here. Oh, really? It was the rest, rest of the night a good night, though, right? Rest of the yeah. night, fuck yeah. yeah. I mean, if I could remember any of Let's it. Go. You know Let's I mean? go. Let's go. Come on. Hello. <laughs> Drove myself home, too. Uh, man, it's just like a, so many things he just said that you shouldn't have said on camera. Let's scroll to the next matchup because I think we just heard a huge W. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Right on. All right, Maury Calliope's huge W versus 21 Pilots Lane Boy. <sighs> huge W. I didn't even have to think about it. Yeah. Lane Boy's kind of gas. It's growing on me the more I'm thinking about it in my head. Oh, I actually hate Lane Boy. I think it's a really bad song, but Huge W is hard to sit through. Even yeah. if I wanted to sit here and try to say, like, I couldn't say that. Like, I do not want to hear that song ever again. No. Yeah. yeah. And Baby It's Cold Outside versus Bitch Came Back. Bitch Came Back. Yeah. Bitch Came Back versus Trying to Convince a Bitch to Stay. Bitch, it's cold outside. <laughs> I really can't stay. Bitch, there's snow outside. <laughs> Sweet 16. American Authors, Best Day of My Life versus Snake Eyes by Demon Dice. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, Snake Eyes is probably worse, but I can't even imagine the American Authors song losing. What? It's so the guys. best day of my no. life. That's a torture oh, song. Oh, 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 oh. Playing back to back, dude. No, I know. I mean, I know Demon Dice is worse. But it's but kind of like a louder bad song. That's really all it is, is yeah. like somebody yelling a little louder yeah. that no. their song is bad. Like, Best Day of My Life earnestly was trying to be a good pop song that's on the radio yeah. and shit and in commercials. And it did all of that while still being really, really bad. Bad. It's like not even close, dude. The other thing that you're not mentioning is the content of the Snake Eye song. It's mm. basically Lane Boy, but like <laughs> worse. Yeah. I kind of skipped the content part of it when I was listening to it because I just didn't want to know anything more. But yeah, I know it's it's worse. Trust me, it's worse. I just think it's kind of closer than you would think. The really funny thing about Snake Eyes is that she's talking like she's like in the rap game. Right. Right? She's like, and all these other rappers, all they want to do is talk about the but I'm gonna. It's like it's like oh my god. <laughs> I swear you know? to God, I didn't even know it was. A rap song, like, it didn't, like <laughs> it didn't come across like a rap song to me. And I don't want to be a hater to this person. There, are, there, you have so many haters. You Let's know. say you like it. I love it. Say you like it because of the content. <laughs> World's smallest violin, AJR versus Gucci Gang, Drake Bell. Gucci Gang. Yeah, it's Gucci Gang for me. Yeah, he says, "Bit." <laughs> <laughs> My beer love do cocaine. <laughs> and I fuck a beer, I forgot her name. <laughs> Spent 10 racks on a new chain. He says, fuck a little bitch. Make her pussy wet. And with what we know, <laughs> He goes, fuck a little bitch, got her pussy wet. Oh. It's like, it's my skin crawls. It's incriminating. Dude. I would play that shit in court, dude. Your honor? <laughs> <laughs> Supplies versus strut. 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 Yeah, I think what I run into when I do, the, like, there are entertaining bad songs and non-entertaining bad songs, and the Steven Seagal one did nothing for me. It just sucks. And I am entertained by Supplies, and I couldn't believe that Justin Timberlake made a song about that, and so it sticks out to me more. I feel like also sometimes when you rank songs like this, it's like comparing the worst kid in the U7 Little League to like the worst guy in the NBA. Like the worst guy in the NBA is gonna have the most memes made about, oh, he missed in the big game. He's sure. supposed to be good. And of course the fucking kid in the Little League sucks. Yeah, it's know? like Steven Seagal is an actor yeah. who made a really bad and, and offensive song and I didn't expect him to make anything good. Yeah, Justin right. Timberlake has made stuff that I love and then made this really cringy, corny, weird fucking pop song yeah. that was still a hit. That's why I want it to move move on, but I understand that it can't. Yeah, I agree. I think it's gotta be strut. Hell is well versus click, click, boom. Hell is well. Pastor, pastor, please. Yeah. Hell is well has to move on here because like click, click, boom is just like whatever. Hell is well sounds bad and is weird content. It's insane. Island boys versus among us in real life. Island boys. Yeah. I think we got to get Rebecca Zamolo out of here. <laughs> Are we falling victim to the same thing that I just tried to do though? Maybe. Because among us in real life is definitely worse than I'm an island boy. I don't know. I kind of agree with what you said last round about Island Boys, like the, how the melody just takes you to a weird place. I think it's a terrible song. I mean, I agree it's bad, but Among Us and like, you can't sit here and tell me you'd rather listen to Among Us in real life. It sounds like a Jimmy Wapo song. <laughs> yeah. If that shit comes on in the club, bro, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking, freaking people. 
I think intention is important. Like we have to factor that in like what was the intention of the Rebecca song? It was just to make a stupid thing for a YouTube video. And Fly Soldier was like, we need to make a big hit. And I feel like that does factor into it, you know? I think that the Island Boys probably think more of the song that they made than Rebecca Zamola. Like she doesn't think she made a good song. Yeah. Right? Like she thinks she made a dumb thing. So that's fine. She bangs versus Three Years Sober. Three Years Sober. I kind of like the hook in Three Years Sober more so than she bangs. I just really hated listening to that song. I think Three Years Sober is worse. I mean, yeah. she bangs. It's like a bad hit song, but it's not like the worst thing I've ever heard. It's just no. like whatever. It's kind of annoying. Three Years Sober like actually shouldn't have happened. Like Vic yeah. Mensa didn't need to make a Travis Barker punk project. I'm sorry. It's That's so shouldn't. true. I just have empathy for Vic. And so I was trying to be nice, but you're right. It's the worst song. Let's move it. Bones by Imagine Dragons versus T.H.E. by Will I Am, Mick Jagger, and J-Lo. T.H.E. Yeah, it's gotta be. I want to vote for Bones, but T.H.E. is just like an uglier mess. And it just showcases Will I Am's like almost cult-like ability to bring people that are respected throughout music and just ruin them. He's cursed DJ Khaled. Low-key. Like yeah. DJ, you know, really puts into perspective the master, masterful work of DJ. Mm -hmm. He's like if DJ Khaled was an app developer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and yeah, it's much worse. I think that if you pull like certain sections of T.H.E., they might be the worst song you've ever heard. Yeah. Last one in this round, we've got Maury Calliope's Huge W versus Bitch Came Back by Theory of a Dead Man. I'm gonna go with Bitch Came Back because it evokes a more negative, visceral response from my <laughs> biology. And we already got the alter ego with a song is probably worse. I think I agree. Huge W is like a mess sonically. Like so much happens and it's like almost intentional that it's like this big vomit of noise. Bitch Came Back is like four power chords and a dude singing. And it's like the content and the way he's singing it is what makes it bad. Yeah. Huge W is like, we're bad, it's bad, it's offensive, we're crazy. <laughs> bitch Came Back is like, I got a little number for you guys. The bitch, dumb bitch, <laughs> fuck that dumb bitch. And you're like, Jesus <laughs> Christ, man. Like, it doesn't have to be that bad. Yeah, like you can tell there's talent there. Yeah. Like, like, like the Theory of a Dead Man could have made good songs. Sure. But yeah. they didn't. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and Calliope, like, never stood a chance. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. Huge W. <laughs> Elite eight. There wow. we go. Snake Eyes versus Gucci Gang. This is tough, dude. I can't lie. I will I will submit my vote for Gucci Gang here. <laughs> yeah, dude. I think that it's the same thing. It's like the visceral reaction from my body. Snake Eyes, Demon Dice, I can just like turn off. Like I'm just like whatever. Yeah. Gucci Gang I've like showed to people because it's amazing that it exists but it literally makes my skin crawl. I'm gonna go Gucci Gang as well but the Hobo Johnson sounded preacher song has gotta win in the other matchup because I feel what? like it kind of covers the same ground as Demon Dice. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just like atrocious in its own unique way and I don't want those two to go up against each other so I'm gonna vote for Gucci Gang kind of with like the future in mind. I've never heard like a condition made yeah. out of what happens in another I'm trying matchup. to strike up a deal. Do you yeah, I don't like this deal. deal. I don't know. I think yeah. we come, we cross that bridge when we get to it. Well, you fucking listen to me or I'll throw a fit. Okay, great. <laughs> I agree with what you're saying. Like, I think when I listen to Snake Eyes and I finish the song, it, it evoked a holy fuck. And the Drake Bell, it, it evoked like a... <laughs> Out of me. Yeah. You know? So I don't know. It feels worse. I'll go Gucci gang. I guess, ah, well, I guess you both voted for that anyways. So I'll vote. I'll do Snake Eyes just for, you know, Your the scorekeeping sake, yeah. you know. And say you like it again. Love it. Yeah. Okay, we already made up our mind on this one. No, we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Strut versus Hell as Well. Hell as Well. I do think Hell as Well is worse, though. <laughs> I do. So hell as Well is worse. No, it is worse. It's like <laughs> Strut. Oh, okay, here's, here's why. Here's yeah. why. If you play Strut and Hell as Well in a room, Mm -hmm. of people and you don't tell them why the songs are playing, <laughs> yeah. people won't even notice that Strut is on. Right. They're not going to be like, wait, what the hell is that? Steven Seagal <laughs> singing? <laughs> what the fuck? If, if Hell is Well comes on, they're going to be like, what the fuck is happening in here? <laughs> I'm in the waiting room for my dentist. <laughs> Bastard, Bastard, please. People will be startled. Yeah, yeah like you on. have to stop and stare at that song. Yeah. Hell is Well is like going to a nice restaurant, sitting down, and all of a sudden just being tased. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like, whoa. Um, I'll have the, but maybe, just maybe. Okay. That was their intention, you know, evoking emotion. So you love it. 
I love it. <laughs> Island Boy versus Three Years Sober. Three Years Sober. Yeah, it's Three Years Sober. Yeah, I would much rather listen to Island Boys for some reason. I'd rather make out with both of them. <laughs> <laughs> I've always thought of you as an Island Boy. I've always wanted a three-way make out, too. I've never done that really? in my life. That seems like something that you would have done, like, you know, before you hit 12, based on, like, what I know about your life. I was a virgin until a very late age. Yeah. I got it in a short amount of time, and I got out with an STD, brother. One day, I'll write a book about it. Memoir. Called I Got Out with an STD, Without an STD. Oh, without, you said so with an STD. Without. Oh. Well, without two. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I got one one time. Which one? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they said they'd never seen anything like it before. What did it look like? Big. Let's just put it that <laughs> way. What do you mean big? It's, yeah, sometimes, you know, crabs, you get a lot of little crabs. Herpes, you get a little lot of little red bumps. This was one big thing. Like a big square? Ah, I wish it was like a normal. I wish it was a shape that was recognizable. Yeah. Oh, my God. It was almost fractal-like. And where was it? Right in the zone. <laughs> <laughs> right in the money zone, man. <laughs> like, like, was it on? On, in, around. Oh. Kind of an all-encompassing thing. Big thing. Well, I hope you're feeling better. It's all good now. I'm clean as a whistle. Yeah. It only happened one time. Now we got a very tough matchup. We've got Will I Am T H E versus Bitch Came Back. The bitch. It's the, yeah, the bitch. No, T-H-E's worse. Like, if I didn't speak English <laughs> and I heard the bitch came back, yep. I'd be like, kind of a bluesy jam, not the greatest, not the flashiest thing. Doesn't matter what language you speak. If you if didn't you speak English, how would you have said all of that? <laughs> you what? said kind of a bluesy jam, not the best. Very well articulate. All yeah. that stuff. Yeah. It seems like you speak English just fine. Why couldn't you understand this song? Let's say, if I didn't speak, like if you showed a France person, <laughs> T-H-E, and they did no speaking the English, they would know how bad it is. That's why I go T-H-E as well. I, rest I think it's just, yeah, harsher on the ears. And the lyrics are bad on that one, too. Yeah. They're just yeah. cringy. I agree. The sentiment is skin crawling and bitch came back, but... You have a fair point. I, I'm fine with that. I think it also brings something new to the final four, yeah. if, if we're thinking narratively. This is crazy! Psychology! Yeah. All right, final four. First matchup, we've got Gucci Gang versus Hell as Well. <laughs> I'll, let you go. I'll let you go first, man. I don't want to dictate your opinion. <laughs> There's a song that might win this bracket, and if it does... It's just going to be, it's going to be sad. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't even know what's There's happening. a song that if it wins this bracket, it will be sad. That's what he said. I don't get it either, man. I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> what's your vote, Ben? Mm. What was that, buddy? Mm. Almost. Mm. What was that? Mm. Hell as well. That's what I thought. It is a cover. Like right. if, if this was an original Drake Bell, and he did, like it would yeah. be a whole, like that. That would be the easy W. It's a different as conversation, say, or huge W, as the people say. But <laughs> uh, it's a cover, so it makes me not count it as much. But yeah. it is transformative content. That's true. It wouldn't get copyright claimed on YouTube. No, you know, it's not just a straight reaction. I believe it to be honestly impressive because it's a cover. Yeah. How bad it can be made <laughs> without changing a single lyric is what makes it so bad. Like, I'm going Gucci Gang for sure. You might be right. Like, it is malicious. Yeah. In a way that I feel like the other one, the other one has good intentions. I'm um, going Hell as well. I think there are three or four Hobo Johnson songs that are worse than Hell as well. I don't know, dude. It's like... It's a vocal tone. It's like uh, Hobo Johnson and 21 Pilots made a song together. That's what Hell as well is. I'll go with Gucci Gang. Okay. Now we got Three Years Sober versus T-H-E. I think this is the easiest matchup in a minute. T-H-E? T-H-E. Yeah. Yeah. Three Three Years Sober isn't that bad. Like, I don't think it's Final Four bad. And THE does have that quality of someone who was great, making something terrible. J-Lo? Yeah. I agree. I think she still is great to a lot of people. <laughs> Not to Ben Affleck. Is Jennifer Lopez related to George Lopez? Yep. Brother. That's her brother? Mm-hmm. No fucking way. Small world. <laughs> He's not sad. usually when you say that. The world es pequeño. <laughs> also, can I just say it's a terrible acronym? Like, it's like, yeah, I'm the. 
<laughs> yeah, what does the know? acronym have? The first letter of the acronym represents the entire word. Like yeah. The hardest ever. Yeah. The T stands for the. It's one of the worst creations of an acronym. It's almost like comedically perfect. You know? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. It didn't work. It didn't catch on. No. Nobody's like, I'm the. <laughs> I'm the goat. The. the hardest ever. Greatest. Well, that sounds kind of sick, actually. The, the hardest, hardest ever. ever the greatest <laughs> of all time. <laughs> <laughs> the dick. The hardest ever dick. So you love it. <laughs> what are you going to do to me if I don't? <laughs> <laughs> all right, this is our final. There's going to be a poll in the chat. Vote for which song you think is the worst song of all time three. <laughs> Vote now. <laughs> also, please comment some songs for worst songs bracket four. We need some help building that bracket out. Yeah. Which one of these songs do you think is worse, Ben? Oh, no, I think they're they're both pretty good. I think we kind of fucked this bracket up. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll go Gucci. I go the. Okay. This is so tough because I feel like I am now sort of using the argument like mm -hmm. T-H-E didn't exist. It was just made as a very bad song. But I do think it's kind of lopsided. Like there are parts of that song that are worse than than others. Like it definitely gets yeah. worse as it goes. Yeah. The first time I ever heard Gucci Gang by Drake Bell, I like sprung up and got excited to show people. Yeah. And this is before all the news came out about Drake. This was just about like <laughs> how bad the song was. Like I had to show people that this cover of Gucci Gang existed. And to me, the thought in my head was like, this might be the worst thing I've ever heard. If you show someone the Drake Bell song and go, this is the worst song ever, people would go for real. But if you'd go with the T-H-E and you go, this is the worst song ever, someone might go, eh, it's, it's weird. <laughs> it's not the worst <laughs> though. Yeah. You know, like I think you get a little more pushback. Yeah. I am going to go with Gucci Gucci Gang. I think that it is one of the worst things that I've ever heard in my entire life <laughs> and deserves to win this bracket. So clap it up for Drake Bell. Great job. <laughs> so you we love, love it. you. We love you. All right. Hive Mind loves you and endorses Whoa, you. No, 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 no. <laughs> Drake Bell's Gucci Gang wins worst songs bracket three. Please let us know some bad songs down in the comments and let us know your least favorite song that was on this bracket. Other than that, we'd like to thank Quadeca for being here, for thank joining you for us. Me. I liked this one a lot. It was a fun one. Thanks for being here. With <laughs> some music coming out that will surely not be on one of our worst songs brackets. Well, coming hopefully. Because I pay them a lot, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> It'd be really embarrassing. Stream Quadeca's music. And other than that, make sure you like the video, subscribe, all the stuff we said at the beginning, and Graydon, go ahead and leave these wonderful people some advice to leave it with their eyes. Never try and dance with a cigarette. Last chance. <laughs> <laughs> all right, this has been I, My TV. We love you, appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next one. Ah! There was one factual discrepancy that we wanted to talk about with the song, by the way. Remember, it does say from London, Ontario, down the East Coast to Georgia. Yeah. That's not how you'd get there. No. You would drive through Detroit and then take 75. Yep. So that, <laughs> that is a bit of a bummer because I wanted to believe everything about this right. song. And it made me question, honestly, if you even dated someone with a Tacoma. Yep. Because, I mean, <laughs> if I can't trust your directions, then can I really trust anything about you? No. Of course, maybe it was just a scenic drive. They, yeah. hit, they hit the East Coast just to do that because they yeah. had a few places on the way they wanted to see. And if that's the case, then forgive me, Kara. But for now, I'm going to at least have a little question mark asterisk next to your name. Yeah. Are whistles that clean? Super clean. Because people always I say clean as a whistle. I imagine if you got fucking refs blowing in them all the time, <laughs> seems like they'd be kind of dirty eventually. Refs do have the cleanest spit of all the professions. Funny you say that. That's how I got the thing to begin with. No. Refs blowing in it. Oh. <laughs>